her how to find the stream page on her channel so I can like watch the comments. We're live, live. We're live, I think. I Unless think so. uh, can you let us know, guys, if we're live? All right. Looks like uh, chat is still working on my end. Yep, starting Hopefully soon. Allie behaves herself. Yep, we're live. Hope they bring Roger. All right, cool. Whoa, what a weird angle. It's like looking straight at us. Look at that. Do we want to switch that? Well, no, I guess that works. It's just like. Super wide, you can see the I mean, There's nothing I can there. do about that. That's just how All these right. cameras go, I guess. I guess that works. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to our live stream. Uh, this is a little bit wider of a frame than I thought it would be. I thought you'd only be able to see this table and alley. So let me explain what's going now on. You can see this beautiful tank that's eventually going to have something in it. Yeah. Do you, guys, do you guys remember the enclosure we bought when we first bought this building? That really big one from Craigslist? Well, as you can see, it's set up, and as you can't see, there's actually fish at the bottom of it. It is a functioning paludarium, and next week we are taking a trip to Michigan to buy the lizard that we're going to put in there. And only Patreon people know it's going to go in there, so Patreon people, please don't spoil it and in Tyler. the chat. And Tyler. And Tyler, and Tyler and Maddie know as well. <laughs> uh, on the table over there is actually all of my program stuff, because I just got out of birthday party programs. Yep. So we actually just wrapped up our last one for the evening and then rolled right into this stream. So that's why there's kind of a mess over there. And Allie is definitely just going to keep crawling around. Yep. So she just had a bath, so she's really warm and has lots of energy. I don't know what we're going to do with her. Maybe we'll grab a ball python to sit in there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll uh, see. One quick thing, anybody who's watching and watching our Rex stream, we are currently draining that. So if you see it get to, I don't know, quarter to... Halfway empty to a quarter of the way yeah, empty? Yeah, probably a quarter. We're going to uh, do about a three-quarter water change on Rex's uh, tank today. You can say something. I'll probably have to leave the stream and go set it up to fill back up. Yeah, so we're relying on you viewers to let us yes. know when Rex's pool is drained about three-quarters of the way. So jump onto Twitch and watch her for us because we can't watch her right now. And it is actively draining. Yes. Uh, and then after that, we will really rely on you to let us know when it's full because we'll be filling it during this stream as well. Yeah. So thanks in advance. And uh, yeah, please let us know. <laughs> please let us know when it's almost great. Allie, you are just gonna keep going everywhere, aren't you? Hopefully she calms down. Yep, more. Lay down, lay down, lay down. All right. So the point of this stream is, unfortunately, our editor Charles had uh, ran into a family emergency and wasn't able to complete today's video in time. So we wish him all the best, and we hope that he's doing okay with everything. Considered it is something really serious that's going on. Yeah. Do you want to actually switch her? She's just get yeah. sure. Actually, let's just let her loose. Okay. You can go Wrong. over there. Go free. Yes, go, because you're not going to sit still. Uh, but yes, um, we don't have today's video, so instead we figured, you know, it had been a while since we did our last live stream, and because of the whole Lacey Act thing, which we're going to get into actually right away or right after this, once we kind of get settled in, uh, it's a great opportunity to do a live stream. Yeah. So, um, we don't have Cheyenne, nope. as you probably have already noticed. Unfortunately, it's too cold for us to bring Cheyenne to and from the facility here because if our car were to break down or something, she would risk freezing, basically. So she has had to stay at home this, these last several weeks because of how cold it is here. I think currently it's actually really warm. I think it's like 22 degrees outside Fahrenheit, which is really warm for right now, but it's still a little cold to bring her. So instead, we figured we'd put multiple rep one at a time, but multiple reptiles in Allie's bed. It was going to be Allie, but then she decided she had other plans. So we might grab maybe our new ball python. We could do yeah. her. Yeah, her new rescue who's going to be used in programs. So we'll just have a different animal on display and a nice throne for you to watch. All right. Link's in the chat. Hi, Link. Hi, Link. Oh, thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for watching who's the, tuning in. The cheese and jerky was amazing. Yeah, thanks for sending us cheese. <laughs> it was still cold when it arrived, and it was delicious. We immediately dove right in and just took out the cheese and started eating it before I filmed that minute video for you. So anyway, uh, I think, are we good? You can see Allie. Oh, there she is. All right. Hi, Allie. Yeah, now you're coming back. All right. I think we're ready to kind of jump in about yes. Lacey Act. I think we should start right away to talk about this Lacey Act amendment so that everybody who is watching is aware of it if you aren't already. And then we'll go into Q&A and fan mail for the duration of this stream. We're starting pretty late, so I don't know yeah. how late this is going to go. I'm hoping about an hour and a half. We do have a lot of fan mail, though. No, we do have a lot of fan mail over there. So we're going to see how it goes. So let's talk about the H.R. 4521. I believe that's what it is, if I remember correctly. The Amendment to the Lacey Act. Uh, if you haven't heard already, in the United States, there was a, a recent proposed amendment to the Lacey Act, which 
was kind of snuck in last minute in another bill that was yep. to help boost the uh, economic yep. status, or to help it boost the economy. Yep. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> the original bill and this proposed amendment have nothing to do with one another. They are not related at all. But it did pass the House just last week. Um, and the bad thing about that is there, there are a couple of negative um, implications of this of this bill yeah. or of this amendment. The from what we understand, and now please correct us if we're wrong. Uh, we have been so busy recently. We just started up our party programs again, and we were out of town because yes. we went to a lab to finish to film a video for you guys, uh, which I'm very excited about. It's going to be yeah. really cool. But we have been running around like chickens with our heads cut off recently for the last three months. About the last three months, let's be honest. So we have not had a chance to read the bill or the amendment ourselves. But we've been able to gather some information from just shared posts and like um, posters that have been sent Also, around. this does not just affect reptiles. This affects basically any animal except for dogs, cats, and some farm Livestock, animals. maybe? Yeah, uh, again, commonly kept livestock. Again, correct us if we're wrong, but by the sounds of it, if this amendment does get passed in the Senate in... Uh, several months. Yeah, I don't foresee it not happening until third quarter. But yeah, it won't be anytime soon, but this is something we really have to get momentum on right away in order to stop it because it already passed the House. If this were to pass, the two main things that would happen in the reptile world and in the entirety of the exotic pet community in the United States, in the United States, would be one or a uh, the there'd be a ban on the importation of species of animals that are listed as injurious to uh, the United States, to, yeah. to humans. Um, that is actually not a bad thing, because there's no need to import like ball pythons from Africa by the thousands and thousands and thousands every year. So, I mean, on that aspect, it does help protect wild populations of the species that they would prohibit. Unfortunately, the really bad thing about this, or this uh, bill is that it would also prohibit any, from what I understand, any exotic pet? Uh, exotic pets on the blacklist. Okay. They, they would create a black and white list. White being, these are good animals, you can own these. Black being, you can't own these at all. And, or you can own them, but you can't travel across state boundaries with them. So if the, so if an animal that's exotic that you have is added to the blacklist, then you could no longer pass or take it across state lines. So if you have to move across into another state, you would either have to rehome your animal or euthanize it. Uh, and so whatever animals are currently in the state have to stay in the state. And this is detrimental to the reptile breeding community and to many other exotic pet communities as well because it greatly limits where you can get these animals. Yeah, so pet stores if for some reason, which it wouldn't surprise us, they put injurious species as ball pythons, because there's a lot of counties that have put injurious species as a ball python, mm -hmm. it could kill someone. Yeah. Um, the Humane if, Society, unfortunately, does yes. state, and I and have PETA. read letters, and PETA, they, you'd think that the Humane Society of the United States, the uh, US, HSUS, HS, 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 US, I don't know exactly, uh, would be a really good organization, but they are definitely against exotic pets, unfortunately. They're against pets. Yeah, it is definitely a business. Anyway, they do state that ball pythons can and will kill a person from what I have yeah. read. So if that was to be put on the blacklist, every breeder would only be able to breed and sell in their state. Uh, if they wanted to move to another state, they'd have to either rehome their entire collection or euthanize all their entire collection. Who knows what would happen? But also for pet stores and people you buy mm -hmm. pets from, they would no longer be able to uh, ship the animals up to them, or down to them, or across the country, one way or the other. Or think about uh, expos, like Tinley. Yep. Those wouldn't be able to happen. All the vendors would have to, since it's located in Illinois, all the vendors would have to originate and live in Illinois. And only the only people who could buy animals at Tinley would be Illinois residents, because you couldn't cross any state lines with them. Yep. So yeah, this would be huge, and this would be devastating to the exotic pet community. And again, this isn't just reptiles. This is birds. This is fish. fish. This is sugar gliders. Rabbits. Rab any yeah, mammals. Guinea pigs. It's all inclusive mm -hmm. to animals other than cats and dogs. So, and, livestock. and live some livestock. So, 
What we need your help with, what the entire reptile world and exotic pet world needs your help with, is reaching out to your state senators to let them know how important exotic pets are to you and how important they are to the community as a whole, to the United States. Yeah. I mean, not only are they our pets, but they're used as educational tools in classrooms. And I and have in to go to the pool. So the you, pool? Keep, the you keep doing this. Okay, sounds I'll good. I'll be back. You're going to refill it? Yep. Okay. Well, not only are animals used as, or kept as pets, they are used in educational um, um, programs like what I do day to day. They are displayed in zoos, and if you think about it, zoos would no longer be able to uh, acquire their animals from other zoos in different states, from what I understand. And they are also used for captive breeding efforts. I mean, crested geckos. We still got time. Still got time. Yep. Okay. When it goes down like that much further, guys, can you let us know? And thank or, you so much. Or like double. Oh, that double? Yeah, okay, that so much further, thank yep. you. <laughs> uh, but like I was saying, they're kept in captivity and they're used in captive breeding efforts. Like, crested geckos were thought to be extinct in the wild until the 90s. That's how recently they were rediscovered. And thanks to captive breeding efforts and the fact that they're very prolific, they are now available to us in the pet world. And their conservation status is uh, actually looking maybe a little bit hopeful because of captive breeding efforts thanks to home breeders. Yeah, um, yeah so we, <laughs> we need to fight this amendment, guys, so please reach out to your local senators. The other thing you can do is support USARC, which is the United States uh, Association of Reptile Keepers. I don't know how this looks, but... Oh, it's, it's like orange. Uh, maybe if I go like that. I don't know. U.S. Arc, support them. Oh, it's on the mug. Yeah, it's oh, on the mug. Yeah, I thought you were showing them my drink. No, okay. I'm showing yeah, them the, the mug. The mug, the mug, yes. It says U.S. Arc on it. We got that last in the auction. Yep. But yes, please support U.S. Arc, even if it's just their, I think, $5 tier. Yep. Uh, I don't know what level members we are, but Snake Discovery greatly sponsors them, too, yep. because they fight for our rights to keep reptiles as pets. I think we've always been gold, but I think we'll probably be moving up to platinum. Yeah, here soon. I think we're going to increase that, too, yep. because they do a lot of a lot of good work for us here. Yeah, they fight for us. <laughs> yeah, and we shouldn't just be supporting U.S. Arc, which, by the way, U.S. Arc uh, does the lobbying, and they work with the government to stop these laws from getting put into place. And so, thanks to them, we have still been able to own the animals, or a lot of the animals that we still keep today. So we shouldn't just be supporting them when something like this comes up. I mean, great, if you haven't signed up yet to, to support them, please do. Please support U.S. Arc. But please let it keep going as well into the future, not just for this bill, because there's just going to be more. It's not going to end. It's always going to be under attack. There's tons of people out there that don't want snakes, reptiles, and fish, and birds, and anything. They don't even want dogs and cats to be pets, in all fairness. Um, they just know they can't attack dogs and cats because people love dogs and cats. Um, yeah. It's the same thing with, they, they comment on reptiles being the number one reason for uh, in, uh, animals becoming extinct, whereas cats have wiped out 33 million species, well, if I remember correctly. Well, no, they, they, ha they kill about a million oh, birds a day in the United States alone, wild but cats. But they're probably yeah. more responsible for making extinct. animals extinct than any other animal on the planet besides humans. Other than humans, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think cats are number two for causing extinctions worldwide. Don't get me wrong, I love cats, but they're not going to attack cats or dogs right now. They're going to attack the smaller groups until they can get rid of them, and then they'll start going after the dogs and cats. Yeah, so this is really scary, guys. If this passes, I don't know what we would do. Yeah. So please help us, help all the other exotic pet keepers out there, uh, and uh, help us prevent this from happening, yep. basically. So that's what we wanted to share start initially. With, yeah, we yep. wanted to start with that, just to explain, with you, explain to you how serious this is. And I know we don't have a link in the description yet because it's live right now, but we will add a description to US ARC in, um, down below once so, so it's published. There's a ton of great articles if you want to read more about it. Uh, I know Dave Kaufman did a uh, live stream the other day with, uh, with Phil, the Phil, president, president of, of USR, USR, and Ryan McVeigh and Erica McVeigh, mm -hmm. all explaining more in detail and knowing what they're talking about. <laughs> Unlike yeah. us who hearsay, we haven't read anything, we just kind of get the, the gist of what's going on. But go watch those things, mm -hmm. go make an informed decision, and, and help your help each other out because we are going to need help here. Yes, absolutely. So thank you for listening to that and hopefully hopefully that helps answer a couple questions and explain why this is such a serious matter. Yeah. But I think we are going to no, maybe we'll get a ball python. Yeah. Allie's been really distracting. Though. Allie is very distraction, <laughs> distracting. She's yeah. like walking behind the camera. I'll, I'll, I'll show.
Like, uh, there she is. She paces from over there to over to the tree stump, back over to there. So, you know, good old Allie. Yeah, not distracting at all. I'll go grab the ball python. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> so I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna start with the ball python here. And Allie, yeah, you can just let her keep running around. She'll just kind of show up occasionally. Um, we're still gonna let Rex's pool drain. And then when it drains enough, we're gonna just start filling it up again. But yeah, now we're gonna move on to fan mail. And uh, we're gonna open up some mail. We haven't done it in a little while, so I'm sorry that we're still behind as always when it comes to fan mail. I brought my tools. I, of course, have Patricia the Box Slayer with me, so I needed her. So I'm actually glad Allie isn't on the, on the bed because she moves around. The ball python won't though, so we're good. We've got some boxes. I don't know why we only put one box on the table before we uh, made this live. Everything else is over there. But when Ed comes back, so that there isn't just a, an empty screen, then I'll run over and I'll grab some more boxes. So I think I'm going to just dive right in and start while Ed grabs a ball python, and then we'll break away when he gets back. So this is from Riley in uh, Maryland, or Maine, sorry, Maine. Woo, what's in here? Riley sends, oh my gosh, she sent a, a Bucky's keychain. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. And a Bucky's floaty duck, a bath duck, that's great! I love Bucky's! Oh my gosh, and a Bucky's nail file. Okay, Bucky's, Bucky's stuff everywhere from Riley. Thank you so much! I love Bucky's so much! We actually filmed a Valentine's Day special yesterday that's going to come out on Tuesday. And for that, Ed and I may or may not have worn bright pink Bucky's yep. Valentine's Day shirts. Thanks to my generous parents. Oh, by the way, who should be watching? So if you want to say hi to... Uh, Papa and Mama uh, Roberts, and then also Grandma and Grandpa oh, they're Curio, watching. they're so watching as well. Your whole so family's watching My right whole now. family's watching right now. All right, well, if you want to spam the chat, this is the one time you're allowed to say, so, Hi, Ed's family. So this is, I, I can't do hi, anything. Uh, you can't not, say anything bad I can't about say them. anything, yeah. No, you can't. I mean, My family doesn't watch these, though, yeah, so I'm talk, good. Man, I'm good. parents all you want. Do we want to bring the camera a little closer? So, ah, sure. you're spamming the chat. That's amazing. <laughs> Hi, Thank Ed's you. Family. Thank you for spamming it. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, great. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with this. From Riley, we have some goodies. Oh, Riley even drew an Eevee. Oh, that's right. The pool is still going. I'm going to guess that that needs to be. The pool? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, How does that look? Oh, that's much better. That okay. is perfect. I'll okay, be great. Back. All right, and we have a letter from Riley, too. Thank you so much for all the Bucky's goodies. Also, we do still have staff here, which is going to be interesting. Because I think they're just going to answer here. Oh, you guys don't have to send cash. Like, stop sending money. Like, that's that's yours, guys. That's your allowance. I, I mean, I promise it will go to our animals 100% to Adoption Island. We have so many animals in Adoption Island right now, guys. And oh, we might goodness. have more. And we might have more. We might have between 100 in the next few days. Which would be very exciting. We'll see if it happens. Um, all right. Uh, dear Snake Discovery, call me Super oh. Eevee. Mario. Oh, oh, yeah, I think it's just your, your laptop. I have sent you Bucky's merch and some more stuff. Uh, and more stuff for Rex, the turtles, the snakes, and more. Uh, P.S. Don't tell us to not send cash. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to tell you to not send cash because I feel bad when you do. But thank you so much, Riley, for this gift. I love the Eevee drawing in here. That's very, very cute. I'm going to keep all of this together. And, oh, actually, there's another note in here, too. Um, Rick's pool is not even close to being Rick's pool, yet. okay. We've got quite a bit. Oh, here we go. Parrot dance, parrot dance, parrot dance is what I have on the back of that one. Is that the parrot dance? Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Actually, isn't the parrot dance... Oh, yeah. It's the head bob. That's the actual <laughs> parrot dance. Yeah, let's be real. Or if you're a Quaker, it's the bobble. <laughs> no, the bobble. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. I like how you just didn't say anything. You just started looking. That's a huge box. Oh, yeah, I went and found the biggest box over there because oh I like gosh. to do stuff like that. Wow. And I was... Huge box. There's like totes in there. Oh my gosh, there's yeah. the flies in there. Who's that from? I don't know. There's no note. That's a, there's like a note a, right here. There it's like a humidity box. There you go. It there's looks like, like a, a lay box. Oh, it's totally a lay box. Yeah, or a humidity box. Let's say part of a hole right there. We could use that this year, actually. Oh, from because... Ariel and Jose. Baby season. Or Josie. I'm not sure. Oh, probably. That's probably Josie. Josie, yeah. <laughs> Ariel and Josie. Ed, please open your treat on camera. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. You want some money? Oh. Here you go. Guys, you're too nice. For the animals. It's 
For a the few animals. words from Ariel. <laughs> Emily, you sure do love chocolate. We love your show. We love your pets, too. I sent you a picture of most of mine. I think I left out the koi fish. Aw, there's all Josie's. Ariel and Josie's animals. Gorgeous ball python. Wow. That's Can cool. you tell what kind of ball python that is? Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, it's a champagne something? No? I don't know. They, they don't know. They're just trying to figure okay, out. Okay, yeah. If anyone has any uh, guesses. They're lay boxes, by the way. To what kind of ball python morph that is. I'm not too familiar with ball python morphs that are like really fancy like that, so I don't want to say the wrong thing, actually. Yeah, those are lay boxes. Hi, cutie. You waking up? So this, by the way, is our new rescued ball python. She's eight years old. And she is going to replace Martha, our 20, 22 ish year old ball python, who's starting to show her age. She has helped us with teaching thousands, literally thousands of kids about reptiles in the programs over the years uh, that we've had her anyway. But since she's getting older, we're going to replace her with this eight year old pastel morph ball python that was surrendered to us. And we need a name for her. We don't have a name. She's gorgeous. She's not head shy, even in shed. So help us name her. We got spray bottles. Oh my gosh, we can We've use needed spray, bottles. spray bottles. We can totally use those. Until Kim breaks them. Yeah, Kim always breaks them. Kim breaks everything. Maybe Kim and Haley, they both break everything Haley around here. Breaks with That's them. for you. Oh, it's like a Christmas gift. I'm, I'm hoping Kim is watching like, in you. her in her delirious state from getting her root canal. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, should I tell him? No, I won't tell him about this. Ah, we'll wait. Okay, we'll wait. yeah, we won't tell him. All right, oh my gosh, it's chocolate. You're right, Josie. We are, I really do love chocolate. <gasps> Twilight Delight, that sounds amazing. Oh, the oh. best gummy worms. We toured this factory. We toured the factory. Yeah, it's uh, in Michigan, no? Illinois or Indiana or something I don't like know. that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I love that, that one. Okay, and the almonds are I assume for Cheyenne, so we'll definitely give some of these to Cheyenne when we get back. What should we do with toys with Cheyenne? Because um, she's not with us. Maybe what I'll do I is I'll. play with them. Uh, you'll play with them? Okay. Maybe I'll take a couple pictures of Cheyenne playing with toys if they're already sent. And I'll post them on the community tab. Ooh. Yes? Oh, that's cold. That's been in our car all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really, really cold. Not bad, though. Very good. Oh, it even says from Ariel and Josie on here. So they'll get to see the container in use. Oh my gosh, what a cool idea. We will definitely use this. Thank you. All right. Oh, no slugs. Hashtag no slugs. Hashtag no slugs. That's amazing. Let's hope. Yeah. Huh. Mm. We have actually some more exciting baby news. We just got some eggs today. Eggs? We had babies. We oh, had that's babies right. Babies today, too. Well, yeah, someone surrendered um, <laughs> Euromastics eggs, actually. So if they hatch, I don't know if they will, which is why I'm mentioning it. If they hatch, we'll make a video about adorable baby Euromastics. But we also had. Baby is born in our zoo today, and I'm Team not going to tell you not oh, what they we're are. we're not doing that today? No, right we're, okay. we're going to make them wait like Aha. 15 minutes, and then I'll show you what babies were born in our zoo today, and they're adorable. So uh, you're going to have to guess what they are in the comments, and we'll show you in about 15 minutes, so at like quarter to 10 central time. All right, so this one is from the Attic Addict in Pennsylvania, actually. Oh my goodness, there's like reptile. Oh, turtle food. Turtle food. Yes. The turtles will love it. We could totally use more turtle food. Yeah. Actually, we, we never feed our turtles anymore. It's yeah. kids who I come mean, to our zoo who feed our turtles now. I still feed our turtles. You still feed them? Yeah. That's why they're fat. You're feeding them <laughs> on top of what the kids are. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, three-story crickets! Nice, thank you! We actually had a couple beardies surrendered recently that had been fed only, um, or that were just eating pellets for six years. They look surprisingly good for having only been fed pellets. But we're trying to get them on other foods, so maybe I'll be able to mix in some freeze dried right. crickets. Trixie or Lola? Trixie or Lola? Oh, oh gosh, I don't know. Those are both really cute. I like Trixie. I kind of like Trixie. Hi. Hi, cutie. I know you're in blue, so you can't really see much, but you have a name now. Hi, Trixie. All right. Oh my gosh, there's Pokemon cards in here. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a note. Hi, my name is Nathan, and I live in Pennsylvania. I love to watch your show. I hope the animals like the treats. Oh, they most definitely will. Ah, even reptile munchies. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Thank you so much, Nathan, for these goodies. We will 100% use them for our animals in the zoo and in Adoption Island, you know, all around the building. Awesome. That is really cool. I am 90% sure the pool is still fine. So I'm not going to go look at the pool. Okay. I mean, even if it drains completely. Did Rex jump in? Oh, Rex jumped in. She's, Rex is in the 
Rex can walk in her pool? All right. Oh, if she can walk in the pool, then the water uh, level is going to go. All right. That's good. Third time's the charm. He's going to head up. All right. I'm going to open this from T... Weird. This is a package from Teespring, which is our, the company that we party or work with for our, um, our merch, actually. Well, one of them, I suppose. And it is... Oh, cute! I have this pattern in a mask! That's adorable! Okay, let me show you this. So, whoever sent this... Thank you so much. It's a little hog nose on a mug. And I love it. I have it in a mask. And now I can drink it from a mug too. Aw, whoever sent this. Thank you very much. I really like it. That's adorable. I'm going to set you right there. Oh, I could use some coffee too. That would be awesome. I need to wake still up. Fine. It's still fine? Yeah. Can she walk? She can walk, but she her back is still under the water. Oh, okay. Once it gets to her back. Like, I'll go and fix it. So it's above her back right now? Yeah, it's above her back. Oh, so once it's at the top of her back? Yeah, once she's like holding herself up or she's she's like floating, but she's, yeah, then okay, we'll go Okay, okay, sounds good. Now, oh, sweet. It's an Ekans! It's an Ekans magnet. Oh, what's metal? Let me both, let me both look around. I don't think Ready? Yeah, in the wild. Uh, maybe he can go on a fridge over here. All right. There, well, yeah, the side of the fridge in the classroom is magnetic. There we go. All right, Ekans. Ah. Ekans is on our fridge now in the classroom. That's awesome. By the way, Hi, this Ekins. package is from Desiree, Taylor, and Zoe. Aw. Uh, our adorable ball python, uh, mm -hmm. Zoe. They have a Perler uh, artwork company. Huh. So if you guys want to check them out, they were the ones who made the Ekans for us. Yeah, I can hold it a little closer. Right, you hold. Oh, nice. So they make Perler work. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. There's their information. Oh, there's more. There's a lot more. Oh, is there? We're always going to promote small businesses as your oh, card is in here. This is Grace. Oh, here you go. Oh, my gosh. It's Grace. Oh, that's cute. Grace our tarantula. We're going to have more magnets for our fridge at home. Wow. Here's Cheyenne. Oh, oh, it's a bib. Oh, my gosh. It's with her, like, her first sweater or her, or her little bib. Or maybe that's the nakedness of her chest. That actually might and be it. It's Rex. Aww. Aww, cute little baby Rex. Those are really cute. Yeah, they are. Thank you. They also sent some Pokemon cards. Oh, nice. Oh, my gosh. New in the package. New in the package Pokemon wow. cards. Oh, we may have to open one of those on screen eventually. Yeah. And these already and have magnets on them, so I can slap them right on our fridge. I actually do put them all on the fridge at home. And? So to get full. A lot of flowers. They already, a long time ago, they sent a whole box full of flowers. Oh, yeah. yeah so okay. they sent more. Oh, thank you, guys. That. Aww. And some other reptile goodies, like a mini, or a, oh. and a hubba hut. Oh, a lot of stuff we sell. <laughs> yeah, but we can still use for <laughs> yeah. our animals. Wow. They sent cool. so many things. Yeah, they did. Aww. Oh, and they even put the calcium in a Ziploc <laughs> bag. Remember that one time we opened? And it was just white it everywhere. It was everywhere, and it looked like... It was a box that was transporting drugs, a certain drug. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I'm a good Christian child. <laughs> I'm like you, apparently. Uh, Lutheran. As I was baptized Lutheran anyway. I'm not religious anymore, but still. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm going to open this awesome <laughs> box. I think you just said hi to Allie. She <laughs> walked by. <laughs> saying hi. She walked by. That's amazing. And she's so active right now. Yeah, she is. Okay, this box is from, I don't know, but Virginia. Oh, cool. We were just there. Nice. So, by the way, I've been looking at this box for, okay, how long? <laughs> February of 2021. Yep, it that sounds about right. It's been sitting in our living room, and it looks amazing. Whoever put this together did such a good job decorating every side. I kind of felt bad bringing it in to open it because I didn't want to cut through this, but today's the day. What's your uh, uh, opinion about outdoor enclosures? Ooh, opinion on outdoor enclosures for like for for cats or for reptiles or I'm guessing reptiles could be our reptile channel. Probably. I mean, outdoor enclosures for reptiles can work as long as they are 110% escape proof. Like I, I see a lot of them that are like homemade outdoor enclosures and there's faults in the cracks or in the corners and then the animal gets out and you wouldn't think a tortoise would be fast enough to escape, but it sure can. So, yeah, I'm for them, as long as I guess they have shelter from yes. UVB and from heat. Yeah, make sure they a can water get source. out of the sun. Yeah, and they're protected from predators, and they're escape-proof. So, it's do your research, basically. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> She's over there. I made sure she was out of the out of the way. Uh, I'm just going to open this. Do you want another one? <gasps> oh, my or, gosh. Or. No oh, way. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to get that one out. I challenge you to a machete fight. Oh or my gosh! One? I 
Ching, ching. Wait, no, no, no. Two. I get two. Yes. You got serrated back. Ching, ching, ching. Oh my goodness. That's so scary. I don't... That's off. I don't know if I want Emily with more Oh than my one gosh. Who sent this? Um. I have three. EDM. Choice. EDM? In Fort Wayne, Indiana. Oh my goodness. Is there a note in there? There's now? no note. But it was pretty ripped, so maybe there was a note at one maybe time. Maybe it came out. Oh my goodness, whoever said machetes. Thank you. So wait, what was this one's name? Patricia the Patricia? Box Slayer. Okay, what are these two? Oh, they need names. What are their jobs going to be? Are mm, you... Open boxes, right? I suppose just more Box Slayer stuff? Yeah. Well, I guess we need names as equally, I mean, yeah, as equally cool as Patricia the Box Slayer. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, I can like... Do that, and I can open. I'll look for names. Okay, hang on, I need the third one. Pete the Package Plunderer. Oh my god, Pete <laughs> the Package Plunderer. I like that. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Ah, I can just destroy this box. Okay, I need you to move down here. Okay, ah, ha, ha, ha. this is great, I should. And then Katrina. Katrina the... Uh, I do like Pete the package plunder. I don't know who came up with that. Yeah, like, and they that came was up in with there. That. It's way, Wait. it's way in the back. So I'm not oh my go goodness, that. that's too much work. We have three machetes. Yes, that was a fun day. Buying a machete on the whim during yeah. construction. And are you okay? No, no, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, please, I am. Please send help. We've got three of these now. This is a dream come true. I won't go to. This is taped really well. They're just asking for me to use Patricia the box. Gaston the package demolisher. It is Gaston. Gaston? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh, if it's No one chops like Gaston. No one opens packages like Gaston. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. That could, that could work. This package. Oh my goodness. I can't even get through it. I don't know how, how you did this so well. But I need so much force. I'm um, here. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm Come here. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'll hold you over here. Jeez. I'm telling you, they taped this back kitchen up really well. Ah. You know, <laughs> okay. I can't help it here. Please take one of these days, maybe. Ah. Oh my goodness. Why? Why did you use so much tape? Okay. Anybody's wondering why Snake Discovery goes to the hospital tonight? You know, watching the live stream, you can pretty much figure it out. I got it. I got it. Move these okay. two. Wow. Okay, we've got it. We've got a plush snake. One that won't get hurt if it gets hit by the machete. We've got... Aww. Oh, there's chocolate in here. Oh, nice. Kit Kat. Sweet. I'm just going to, like, rip into it like this. We've got a toy snake. Oh, my gosh, some more chocolate. Oh, my goodness. Milky Way Midnight's. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. I, so I love, and we're very lucky to get so much exotic candy, and I love all of it, but sometimes I just crave the super Americanized candy bars like this one. So thank you. Someone also dropped off a Three Musketeers the other day at our shop, and that was amazing too. Okay, we've got. Oh, I should probably go check Rex's pool. Oh, Rex's pool? Okay. All right. I'll well, be going for a little while this time. Okay, it's gonna swap out and start filling up, I suppose. Oh, there are pictures of the person who sent this. Okay, well, I'm not going to show the picture of you. I'll show you because it's... Oh, you've got to take you! Okay, so whoever sent this note. Dear Emily, my name is Clara. Or Clara? Clara. I live in Virginia, and I love snake discovery. I have four pets, pigs included. Uh, dogs, uh, cat, and an Argentine tegu. I'm very excited that you have a tegu, finally. Yes. And we are, we are too, because they are my favorite animal. Aw, love, love Clara. Cool. Oh, and she's a Patreon backer, too. And, even better, you don't have to share the chocolate with Ed. Look, it actually says it. Proof, proof. It says it. That means all the chocolate in this box is mine. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we've got another to, ooh, to Doug. Okay, I'm just going to hide all this chocolate because it's mine, and I don't have to share it. That is proof. Aw, oh, there's a dollar in here for Doug. Cute, and a card with Doug's name on it. Thank you, Clara. Yeah, that can definitely go to Doug. I'm going to put your poor box down here. Oh no, and with Ed gone, we have no package. So I guess I'm just going to leave the screen and uh, grab another package. I'll be right back. Sorry, it's awkward.
I'll just keep talking as I walk around, and I'll grab two boxes. How about, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. All right, so we have a box from uh, Patricia in Illinois. And this one, we kind of pre-opened some things just to slice them quick and make them a little easier to open. You already start refilling it? Yep. Nice. It's filling. Okay, so when Rex's pool gets to the top of those black lines for her overflow draining or drainage, can you let us know? When the water level is yes. at the top of those... You'll look at it like 45 minutes. So okay. Not take that long. Oh, and we've got two minutes until we're going to show people the babies that were born in... Two minutes, yeah. If you haven't placed your guess yet on what was born, please do so below. Fox mix. Egg eaters. Oh, you're placing your guesses? Yep. That's not fair. You know what they are. <laughs> you weren't right, still. But... <laughs> All right, this is... Hi, I'm Lynette. I am a senior in high school, and I'm a huge fan of your channel. Since I began watching your videos, I rescued a ball python uh, from a home where they could no longer care for her. Her name is Christopher. It's a boy's name because I couldn't tell the sex out at first. Like Janet, your guys' bull snake. I just recently got a leopard gecko named uh, Stanky, Stanky, Stankly, Stankly. I like Stanky. Yeah, I like Stanky too. <laughs> I know I pick really weird names. Can't wait for the zoo slash facility to open up. Look at this thing. <laughs> uh, this was sent October of twenty. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Maya. P.S. Yeah. My sister is an artist and has started a shirt business that do donates a portion of their funds to the Environmental Defense Fund. So I included one of her shirts with the snake design for Emily. Her website is doodlestitchstore.com, which I can show on screen. Aww. Wow. My goodness. Maya. Oh, and Maya said strip bubbles. Nice. The best flavor yeah. of them all. Chocolate caramel. The chocolate caramel. Oh, I my gosh. There's flavors of those, honestly. Yes. There, oh, there's totally flavors. Yes. You guys all introduced me to, oh, my gosh, and more of them. There's coffee-flavored stroop waffles. I have not tried those. Okay. Well, yeah, those are going to go with coffee tomorrow. Thank you. Here. Oh, here's that shirt. Abigail gives you a quarter for Rex's fish funds. I don't know. I dropped it. Okay. And then... We'll put it in here. Thanks, Abigail. Alligator masks. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Those are really cute. Yeah, I think that one's a little smaller. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's see how these fit. Okay, nice. Oh, it's crunchy. Okay, cool. And this one is smaller too, so that's that's perfect. I usually need kid-sized ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. masks. Oh, right. those are cool. Alligator oh, masks. I won't wear it the whole time, obviously, but here is the. I assume. The business name of the person who sent us this, uh, Seal Ties. So check them out. And I think they're the Oh, ones... wait. That's the same person who sent these. Well, yeah. Oh, it's the from mask. the okay. same box. I, I thought you were talking about this shirt. Oh, Sorry. no. <laughs> I was like, wow, Inception. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Your mind was just about to be blown. Yes, it was. <laughs> Thank you so much for the masks. Right into the pocket. Yeah, since we have to wear them here in uh, the state, or in uh, the states. Here in the cities, we will be using those. Thank, Thank you. you, Zully. I know, I'm beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that you rock it. You can I pull know. that off. All right. Just so. wait till we go on a formal date. <laughs> yes. They'll be like, aw, they're so <laughs> cute together. Aw, he's helping oh. her. She's helping him. Yeah. Aw, that's adorable. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to put this shirt on for Maya. So give me a second. I'm going to... What are you getting into, Allie? Oh, she... It's just a box, fell. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm going to get this on quick. I'll be right back. Uh, how tall are you? Uh, I am 5'11". There you go. Oh, somebody asked? Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. 5'11". Where is this a... Eh. I don't know what I'm looking for here, but I'm trying to find... Ah, oh, there's the card. Okay. Nice. It is perfect! Thank you! Oh, cool. Okay, so Maya... Oh my gosh. It's in Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish. Thank you, Maya. Ooh, Ed loves these milk chocolate covered pretzels. Mm -hmm. You can put those on your desk. Yes. No, oh, Maya, this is all really nice of you to send this that. much. Oh my gosh, and you even sent me these caramel Ghirardellis. Thank you so much, Maya. That was very kind of you to send all this. What are you, what are you doing? Are you? She's just wrapping up with the other thing. Oh, are you cuddling with the? Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll leave you be. Maya, thank you for all these gifts. That was really nice of you to send so many treats and goodies for us. And they're all things we love, really love, so you know us well. So thank you very much. I'm going to set these down here, I think. Right there, kind of keep them together. So Crystal sent us some sweet things, like a 
Whoa. Uh, Japanese pincer card. Japanese holographic pincer. Yes, please. A couple uh, wow. dragon and alligator stickers. That's an old school one. I'll have to find a place to put those. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Wow, I love your art style. Did you make these? Whoa. She made me a That's nice, so cool. awesome scarf. Oh, cool. That is pretty great, too. I don't know. She just said it's Is scarf. it like a fish fin or feathers? Oh, it's uh, feathers. The scarf and stickers are my own art products of Redbubble. So if you can find it. Oh, wow. Is there a... Uh, third... No, they said they wouldn't. Oh, they, they didn't put their uh, yeah. Redbubble on there? And okay. they had a little sweet dragon oh, statue. That's, that's really cute, too. Aww. Wow, I love your art style. Holy cow. Here. Who is this from? Uh, Crystal. Crystal, thank you so much. I mean, yeah, look at look at these. Aren't those cool? We're going to have to find a good spot for these. Oh my gosh, it's like yin and yang. You're very talented. Thank you, Crystal. Wow. Okay. Oh wait, I know what I can do. You're going to like tuck it in like you're fancy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That does like make you look really... <laughs> Oh. Uh, Dapper. Especially with the bow. <laughs> yeah, that, that pulls it all together. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> oh, this, this box is not open yet. This package is from another Maya. Wow, two Mayas in a row. This one from pa Maya from Pennsylvania. We've got a letter, I believe. Oh, we've got artwork. Oh, cool, a rattlesnake. Oh. And there's a letter in here, too. Let's see. All right. Dear Emily and Ed. I love all your videos and snakes. My favorite video was when Chloe and the snakes went fishing. Uh oh, uh, what? Oh, it fell off. <laughs> uh, we have four American toads. Bubble, Bump, Bounce, and Brownie. That's we amazing. feed them some of the bugs from this video, which feeders are best for your reptiles. Oh, nice. Thanks to your videos, I love reptiles from Maya. P.S. The bird toys for foraging. Hope you like the pictures. When do you pair or breed snakes? Typically in like... April ish is when we is when we pair them. Good question. And there's a bird toy in here. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, and there's a clay a clay alligator. Oh, that's adorable. Cute. Thank you, Maya. And this toy. Oh man, I wish Cheyenne was here. She's gonna love this. I could put I could put nuts in your toy. Okay, I see. You hang it from there, which I might end up hanging it from a ch a metal chain because. Macaws love to just sniff this part and then the whole thing falls to the ground. So I might do a metal chain. Maybe that's what this is for. Sorry, I'm just trying to brainstorm this toy. This is really cool though. And I'm totally gonna stuff it full of treats. Thank you, Maya, so much. I will try to remember to post a picture of Cheyenne playing with this on our community tab since she isn't here with us tonight. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. Thank you. All right, so we got a package from the Michaels family that says, Merry Christmas. What? And then Actually, it's September, so we figure you'll open this sometime between Christmas and Valentine's Day. Oh. Awesome guess. Post date that this was supposed to get here, 10-5-20. 2020? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you weren't wrong. It is yeah. in between Christmas and Valentine's it Day. It is. Pick a color. Oh. Allie's well, getting into trouble. Allie is getting into trouble. Oh, poor Madison. <laughs> She's like in training, too. Oh, Alright, I don't remember exactly. It says... Step one, or after Ed and Emily, or Ed got Emily with Silly String, it's time for a rematch. Grab your weapon and may the best man win. Oh my gosh. By literal definition, that's you, Ed. Don't let me down. The kids are rooting for Emily. Go team Ed. Yes! What? Good job, uh, mom. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh-oh. Um, this is a, uh, the game hasn't started yet. Has it not? No. When does it start? When I say battle. <laughs> okay, battle! There's Emily. <laughs> this was a new shirt. Oh no! Hopefully, it washes off. And it's on the mural. Why, hey, did, we, me, why did we do that? I don't know. The it's silly string the is like all. Oh, oh, I need to clean the camera now. Oh no! Hopefully, this doesn't stain the floor. <laughs> oh no! Why did we do that? It's on my work shirt. Oh my goodness. Let me. Uh... <laughs> uh, this was a bad. This was a bad decision. Why do we do this on a live stream? This was terrible. It's all over my arm and my face. 
Oh my that gosh. Two year old silly string. I feel like I should use so. that as a mirror and try to clean. Two year old silly string? Uh, it seems to be water soluble. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think. Bad it's... life choices. I don't think it's going to stain. Don't um, mind me, stream. There. Look. It's like we're not even. We did anything. Okay, perfect. Great, yeah. Ed. Ugh. That is amazing. Good job. And now it's stuck to his sweatshirt. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's your work shirt. Oh no. This is a. Uh... Okay, it definitely doesn't seem to be leaving any stains. Oh, yeah, you can just kind of crush it off hard. <laughs> kind of. Uh, well. I guess not. All right, well, I guess I'm green for the rest of this. You needed a new shirt, and we should clean that. Oh, yeah, we should probably clean We should clean definitely that. clean the mural. Why did we do this? <laughs> okay, well, Ed's going to clean the mural. Oh, it sticks. Uh-oh. Well, there's a clear coat of varnish, so just take yeah. some water on it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right, you, uh, there's prizes in here first. Let me do that. Oh, okay. Prizes. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, we should definitely clean Packages it. for the winner. All right, Ed won. Ed won. This is for the defeated one. Oh, I get a prize too. I yep. get a, a participation this is trophy. For, never mind for. For Charles, he never he gets, gets anything. anything. Oh, oh just here. our editor. This one's for Charles. Okay, we'll save that for him. Consolation prize for the defeated silly stringer. Merry Christmas. Oh, okay, we got at least a prize from this. The pink wrapping paste and paper is in case we miss Christmas and is closer to Valentine's. Oh, nice. Well, this is perfect. Valentine's Day is on Sunday. Oh, I got. Vegetables! I got calories and cavities. Nice. Hooray! Hooray! Michael wanted to give you chocolate. Always get candy so clearly what you really need are some vegetables. Michael was not amused. Our compromise? Veggies. Good, healthy, and hopefully some laughs for the loser of the silly string battle. But with a prize like this, you can feel like the real winner. Nice. Even Your though chocolate... Is a little stained. Yeah, it's okay if my hair is stained. I just don't want the wall to be stained. All right. Well, two-year-old gonna... food, lol. <laughs> yep. Yeah, two-year-old food. It's in a can. It's still good till 20. Mixed vegetables, 20. I actually can't tell. Oh, there it is. 2022. We're good. December 28th, 2022. Yeah, we can. Perfect. This poor shirt. I think it'll wash out, though, because it does come off, like, pretty easily. I don't know why it didn't on Ed's. Oh, that piece doesn't want to come off. Okay, well, when it does come off, it doesn't leave any stains, I think. So, we'll see. We'll put it through the wash. And uh, my glasses are really bad right now, too. I guess I'm just going to keep moving on. I'm really glad that the mural artist put a clear layer, uh, or a clear protective layer on the wall. You are so pink. I know, you're very green. <laughs> All right, I guess we are going to move on after that excitement. I'll just uh, put this over there. I don't know why we did this. I don't know either. Is it washing? Uh. For the most part, it's leaving like stains. Yeah, definitely need to wash that now, though. Okay. Model background, so you wouldn't be able to really see it anyway. Yeah, we're fine. All right, cool. I'm gonna open up our next uh, gift. Or, uh, I keep cleaning. Okay, yeah, you keep cleaning. <laughs> Perfect. All right, sounds good. All right, so this one is from Australia, from Ryan, actually. So let's see. This man, this came a long way. There's a lot of tape, but in this case, I, I think I understand why there's a lot of tape. There's a, this came this came a long ways. And Trixie's moving around. Hey, pretty girl. Let's see if I can, oh my gosh, the only problem with a lot of tape is that I have a tough time opening it. Is this, is this a flap? Is that a not a flap? I don't, I don't understand. There's so many folds to this thing. Okay, how to clean up? Yeah, pretty good. Left yeah. some weird staining. Yeah, weird staining's there. But, uh, might come off. Yeah, we'll just keep playing around with it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it'll be fine. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a, a knife for this one because there's just so much tape. I'm going to do this and open that and open this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, there's uh, definitely a lot of tape on here. Oh, that's right. Baby snakes. Oh. Should we look up what Charles got? Oh, sure. Yeah, we can see what Charles got. Oh, Trixie, you're like all around the bed. You're adorable. And I might have to rip this one a little Charles bit. Charles got Pokemon cards. Oh my gosh, Charles got so many Pokemon cards. Hopefully he likes Pokemon cards. Hopefully he likes Pokemon. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Ryan said, ooh, chocolates from Australia. There's the furry friends and Tim Tams. Oh, amazing. 
Chompies, and those are Ed's favorites. And Chomp Bars, or Chomp Chews. I don't know what these are, actually. Never heard of those. Yeah. We all said these. Oh, baby snakes? Okay. Let's see. First, let me finish opening yeah. this. I'll set these over here. Okay, we're going to have to try at least one of these. So maybe after this package, we will uh, check out babies. Yeah. So I don't want to, like, stop halfway through a package and then accidentally forget to keep going. So I think we have to try chunk. There's so much green. Okay. Oh. Okay. There is a blanket down there. We're good. Yep. We, we tucked one under. Yeah, we thought that was going to happen. So uh, we just in case. We're like, oh, maybe. All right. All right. So, you want to go back? I'll go grab somebody else. <laughs> All right. Say so. goodbye to the stream, Trixie. Oh, there she goes. Bye, Trixie. Thanks for helping us name her. Oh, there's Pokemon cards in here. I don't know if they're real, but that's okay. They look really cool. Thank you, Ryan. And we are going to try, ooh, Carmel, Carmelo Koala. We could try a Carmelo Koala. That sounds awesome. Oh, maybe I'll let it thaw. This one's kind of frozen because it was in our car. So I'll let those thaw. Maybe the chomp doesn't require being thawed. Let's see. Gonna give it, give it a shot. Oh, and it must be ten o'clock because that light yep. just went out. It's ten. Mm. Oh wow! It's a monster chew, is what it says on the package. It's like. It's like a Charleston chew. I don't know what that tastes like. The Charleston chew. Oh, it's like a Charleston chew with a wafer underneath it. Oh yeah. That's pretty good. That is, yeah. I like the crunch of it. That is really good. Nice. Mm. Okay. Well, there goes Ellie again. Bye, Allie. Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right. Um, babies. Don't want to forget babies. Babies. Okay. Place your guesses on what these babies are that were born today in the zoo. Sunbeam snakes. Yes. That's what they were. Were sunbeam snakes. Absolutely. Okay. I'm sure they, they saw it, honestly, but... are garter snake babies, but not just any garter snakes. These are... Let me hold them up to the camera. Come here. They are really wiggly. California red side garters. Oh, you're so, you're, calm down, calm down. At least you're not musking on me. There they are. They already have their little red heads and the red sides a little bit. Unfortunately, there were only three and there were like 10 stillborns. So we don't quite know what happened there, but the three we got look good. So except for one I'm just noticing has a little bit of a kink behind mm. its neck. So there might've been something off with that litter. So we're actually not going to do a video about this litter or clutch or clutter, I suppose, um, just because we have so much going on. We have a lot of videos that we're working on at the moment, so I figured I'd just show you them on the live stream instead. So there we go, California red sided garters. I'm going to set them aside, and uh, I just, we haven't put them in with all the other baby garters in that tank, which we still have, like the earth ristics. Uh, I'll just put them in with them after this stream. They've just been chilling in a critter keeper because literally right before we went live was when I went out and collected them and brought them in here and then I was like, oh no, what do I do with them? We have to go live. So they're in there for now. They'll be fine. Okay, so we the try. The green on my shirt was bothering me, so. The green was bothering yes. you? All right. I kind of should. Oh, look, this comes right off. Look it at that. It off the skin. It might when it dries. Come off the wall? Come off the wall. Well, it came off the wall. It, just... it did. Yeah, it just left a weird yeah. streak. We just know not to do silly stream fights. Yes, we do. The mural anymore. We sure do know that now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's not like we paid a lot for that or anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. At the very, you know, maybe if worse comes to worse, we could ask if he could come and touch it up. Yep. If it doesn't go away. Okay. I think this is going to stain my jeans though. So I'm going to try to take it off of my jeans. Although, wait, these are really old jeans. Never yeah. mind. It doesn't matter. That's I don't right. Know, these will stain, but you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I only have one set of pants. It's all you good. Know what? I'm just going to wear this shirt out because uh, it's part yeah. of me now. Yeah. It's part of this entire stream. I'm just going to leave it on. There we go. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to happen. Sweet. Okay, so. I have a box from. Eh. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, from Mark. Nature Mark. Nature Thank you for Mark. the show. It's helped me. Uh, help my mom not be so scared of snakes. Aw. Nice. Cool. All right, so this is from, there is no name actually, but it's from Missouri. Oh, that's to me? Oh, sorry, yeah, that's to you. I'll take that. All right, sorry. Didn't so realize. Mark and Stacy, Mark's mom, sent us a Whoa. giant crocodile. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That is a huge crocodile. It has like a realistic print. Too. And a whole bunch of rubber snakes. 
Nice. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. That was really nice of you. There's so many goodies in this box. I've never seen a plushie wow. like this either, like with the yeah, print on that's it. that's really cool. That is really neat. I think it's an actual picture of a crocodile too. It's just a little out of proportion because of the, the, the plushie, but that looks awesome. Thank you, Mark. This can cool. go right here for Allie and me next time she makes a pet. Yeah, where is she? Oh, know. she's over there, okay. Yeah, she's moving around somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> she's nips. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Cheese nips. Cheese nips. I have a feeling there's not actually cheese nips in that box. That'd be that sweet if there was. That'd be funny if someone just sent us I a would, wrapped I up would eat box of cheese nips. Some cheese nips. With like no sentence. context. No context, just a box of cheese nips. <laughs> right, let's see here. Ah, oh, sweet, we got bags of chocolate. Woohoo! And Cheyenne got some treats. Oh, wow, she got some nuts. She got Aww. some nuts. Cool. Let's see here. This is. There's something that From fell. Gwen. Oh, Glenn has horses. There's pictures of them here. Oh, sweet. The little white pony is Let's Shadow. See. The brown one is Flame. Co coffee Crisp and the wrong Smarties. The wrong Smarties? Yes. I mean, I would say they're better, but we should try, we should try the Canadian Kit Kat. Yeah, let's I'm try I'm assuming that. that's what it is. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what it yeah. is. <laughs> okay, so far it looks like a U.S. Kit Kat. Yeah. And it tastes like one, too. And it tastes like a U.S. Kit Kat. Right, so they have the wrong kind of Smarties. But the right kind of Kit Kat. The right kind of Kit Kat. Exactly. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Gwen. Maybe there's a different flavor. It's like lighter. Maybe. Well, I don't know. It's very good, though. I like it. All right. So, I, I mean, I should have taken a bite and then expected myself to be able to talk. This is from uh, Amanda in... Kentucky? Oh no. <laughs> Puerto Rico. Oh, I didn't wow. think of what the country code was. Allie, no, 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 no. I was just trying to fit behind that enclosure. Oh, no. Of course she is. Of course hey. she is. All right, so Amanda in Puerto Rico sent, ooh, Ed's bag. Emily, don't eat this. <laughs> All right. Oh, and, and, it's, a, it's fair, and Emily's chocolate bag. All right. So that means by oh. the power of marriage, they're both mine. Sweet. Awesome. I don't Thank think you, I, Amanda. I agree with that. Thank you so much, Amanda. That was so nice of you to send me two bags of chocolate. And, oh, wow. That's, That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. Yeah, it is. I added a little too much blue. To, no, I think it looks great. Uh, something for Cheyenne. I know she doesn't have neck feathers, but I see her with full feathers and beautiful as always. She is a beautiful bird, and you did a great job capturing her there. Aw. That's really cute. You got her bib, too. Thank you. That's beautiful, Amanda. I'm just going to set this right there and there's also oh puerto rican coffee oh my goodness wow thank you amanda like puerto rican coffee i think thank you so much i can't now i can put this in the coffee mug with the stroop waffle on it and have a marvelous start to tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a crazy busy day so that'll be a good start to it three programs tomorrow three two programs oh just two yeah usually three but today there's or tomorrow there's only two here's the letter Okay, to Snake Discovery. Hello, Emily, or Ed. I have never sent fan mail to a YouTuber before, but I really wanted to send this to you guys. My name's Amanda, and I'm 11 years old. I guess, based on the date, she is almost 12 now. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, a, she's probably 12 now. And I have a channel, too. Amanda's Piano Music. Go check it out if you want. Anyway, I'm also from Puerto Rico, so here's some Puerto Rican coffee. Part of my family has a coffee shop, so I got to prepare this special bag. You helped make this, Amanda? That's amazing. I also included some candy for Emily and a separate bag also for Emily. We'll go with that. And a drawing right. of Cheyenne. <clears throat> Here's a question. Did the deformed turtle from the rescued clutch survive? Um, sadly, he did not. The, If you remember, the snapping turtle that hatched Quasi. out, Quasi, he had was missing a foot and a half, kind of, and he had the kinks in his shell, a hunched back, his tail is a little bit crooked too we found out he lived about a year which was actually a lot longer than we thought he yeah. would he never, he never grew never grew and then he just one day passed away so we yeah. like to think that we gave him a lot more time than he would have had in the wild but i mean it was kind of too bad for, or it was tough for him from the start so yeah. he didn't make it but it was fun to have him all while we did for sure so thank you so much amanda for sending coffee and treats that was really nice of you and i can't wait to try this oh my goodness Yes, new coffee to try. 
I love trying new coffees. Thank you. So Amy sent us Shan oh. sweaters. Oh my Here you gosh. go. That's like for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Christmas one. Aw. She has a Christmas sweater yeah. now. And she got one. Oh my goodness. I was actually just about to switch out her um maroon her u of m one. Oh yeah that's right yeah or gryffindor one same colors so i can have valentine's day oh, this is so perfect yeah. thank you amy these look like they're gonna be the perfect size too and i love that you did holiday themed ones oh my goodness that's thank you awesome. thank you yes that was really nice of you to do this oh, that is perfect oh my goodness now i have to be worried about you uh no i'm controlling with the knife with yeah, the machete sure are. wait know. this one's gaston right yeah that's gaston okay yeah. oh my goodness I'm gonna move down. I want to reach in the no, no, no. Ah, There's something tasty in there. Right, here you go. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'm gonna have one of these right now. Oh. Ooh. And I got a green tree python photo. Oh, it even says to Ed. Nice. Wow. That's beautiful. Right. How'd you get that scale pattern? Let's figure out who it oh, came from. Oh my goodness. From. Did you hand draw the scale pattern? That's really pretty. Yeah. Who is this from? Are oh, you doing the letter? Doing the letter okay. now. Okay. While you open the letter. I'll open some Reese's, because if you like Reese's, you need to try these. It's like the Traducan, but with Reese's, with the bean, uh, the, the... Isn't it Reese's? I thought it was Reese's. Oh, I always go Reese's. Reese's, oh, maybe Reese's, Reese's, Reese's pieces, Reese's. instead of Reese's mm. pieces. <laughs> I guess that makes more sense, yeah. Sorry, uh, I've been doing a lot of talking at programs today, and I had to talk really loud at one of them. So, because there are just a lot of kids. So this is from Gemma. Uh, do, 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 do. They are very interested in Mexican black king snakes. Mm. What are the names of our Mexican black king snakes? We have um, Onyx, our female Mexican black king, and uh, no, Sorfang, uh, that was the gray banded. Shoot. What is her name? I can't remember. The male, the male. Oh, the male? Mexican black. I, wait, we kept the same name that he came with. But I'm drawing it. Maybe Nick or Nay are watching. They would know. Yeah. What's my favorite morphable snake? Your favorite morphable? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do you like ghosts? Those are cool. What's your favorite? Uh, Albino white sided. Let's go with that. That's. Oh, that's snow. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, that's <laughs> ghosts. No. Hypo white sided is ghosts. Okay. Uh, what is Emily's favorite bird? Hi, Synth McCaw. Awesome. <laughs> or secretary birds. Those things are sweet too, but you can't really keep them as pets. Thank you, Gemma. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. I love how you got the scale pattern on there. All right, this one is from Jean in Missouri. We're gonna, I'm just gonna like not cut the tape. Oh my goodness, I opened this the wrong way. Okay. Whoa, cool. Jean sent us little fake bats. Oh. These look really real realistic yeah. too. Yeah, oh my good. goodness, we can add these to the cave. Holy cow. At first I was like, oh my gosh, are those taxidermy bats? I can't open this on camera. But then they weren't. These are actually crafted bats. <laughs> oh. Hopefully. Oh yeah, there's the... Yeah, hopefully, right. Oh my see, goodness. Is there any questions that I can see right now? Those look really cool. And they're going to go in the cave for sure. That is awesome. Okay, there's a note in here too. While Ed looks for questions. Grace, Robin says hi. Oh. Like Grace's mom, Robin? Like. Wait, no, that's not Grace's. What's. Grace's mom, my sister's. What's your last name? Hakari? No, it's not. Her. Okay, different Grace. Okay, I'm like. My, I'm fa guessing, my family I'm doesn't guessing, watch our videos. I'm guessing Grace the Tarantula. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's funny because Grace is named after my sister Grace yeah. and her mom is Robin. Where is so. the zoo? The zoo is in Maplewood, Minnesota. Yep, Maplewood. There you go. I answered a question. Good job. You <laughs> answered a question. Uh, I hope this letter and package finds you well. I'm a longtime fan of the channel. I love all the really entertaining, inspiring, and educational. Watching the progress of the facility has been great. I always wanted to contribute something, but you guys are so far away that I felt there wasn't much I could do. Then way back in facility update number 13, Emily mentioned needing some realistic looking bats to hang in the invertebrate cave. And I thought, this is the job for me. So I made you guys some needle felted bats. These, these were modeled after references of little brown bats, um, which is actually a native species area. They're handmade from recycled acrylic wool. Each bat represents about two water bottles. Whoa. They have a wire skeleton, so they are poseable, even their wings and little toes. I recommend tying a bit of fishing line around their little ankles and tying them to an eye hook mounted in the ceiling to hang since they can't grip, grip like real bats. Oh my goodness. Jean, thank you. They're even made from recycled materials. 
Oh, they are little bendable wings. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. They're totally male or like moldable. Thank you. Uh, the cave is like right behind the camera. I will be tucking these into a cute little space. Thank you very much. There's three of them too. Okay, these I don't want to fall for sure. So they're going down here. Okay. So they're safe. Yes. So you know how we've been like looking for something to take Rex fish fund donations? Oh, like, like a, a, a statue thing? Yeah. No. Could somebody make something? Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. You put it in the mouth. And it... And it goes down into the belly. That is awesome. This is from... We have a quarter here. Oh from... yeah. Um, from... This is from L or Ellie. Wow. Let's see how it works. You put the... Okay, put it in here. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Ellie. Ellie. Yeah, 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 Ellie. Facility. That is. Or the rescues. Really cool. Yeah, or the rescue. We could put this near Adoption Island. And yeah. like, we can have the, all the proceeds go to the yep. rescued animals. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you. And also you. for the other stuff you sent. That's amazing. You didn't have to send that other stuff. Yeah, you didn't stuff. have to send that other stuff. That was really nice of you, though. This is amazing, and it's going to go in our shop tomorrow. Yep. So if you're coming to Snake Street tomorrow, you'll see that. You'll see this. You can add to the, the first quarter. How do you how do you open it? I think you have to take a screwdriver and go along the outsides. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and then it comes out. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we looked into having, there's a nature center next to us that has a really cool, like, walleye um, statue, I guess, or like mold. It has a clear belly, similar to that, but it's a very realistic looking walleye. And its mouth is an opening that you can put dollar bills or whatever in. And the opening is just small enough, like two inches down, that you can't stick your hand in to reach, grab things back out. Uh, and I reached out to the company that made that, and I'm like, hey, can we buy one of these for like near Rex's enclosure, Rex's fish funds or something like that? Because we had some requests for us to have one there. And it would have cost $3,000. <laughs> So yeah. we would have needed a Rex's Fish Fund jar for the Rex's Fish Fund fish. So we just decided it's not worth it. No, we're not going to do that. So this will work out perfectly. Thank you so much. All right, this package is from, oh, it's opened. Oh, nice. All right, let's see if I can find a letter in here. There's some goodies in here I can kind of see already. I think you can go, they just go straight into a letter. This is great. I think you can call Rex Rexa because she is a girl. And uh, Emily, share the candy with Ed. It is uh, somebody's birthday, yay. I'm your biggest fan. I love you. I wish I could get a snake or a lizard. Oh, I hope you can get a snake or a lizard. <laughs> and then we, we kind of trail. Okay, back to this. My mom will not let me get any reptiles. And I'll throw it under the bus, Mom. Sorry. <laughs> because of the bugs and rats. But I did have a hamster. Oh no. It maybe. Oh no, it did fall down mine too. Oh, okay. I think we're back. Back now, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, uh, leg. There's a lot of leg. But I guess we'll see. There is that kind of str the, the delay too. Yeah. So I guess we'll see. Wow. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're broke. Back. Back. <laughs> back. Yay, we're back. Hooray! I fixed it. I'm amazing. Good job. You fixed it, Ed. Nice. I don't know what, uh, we are super blurry. Yeah, I don't know why we're so blurry now. Oh, yeah, it is, it is weird. Is it our laptops? No, it's blurry on that and that. I don't know. Well, I guess I will just keep opening. Yeah, you keep opening. Hopefully... I'll try and figure this out. All right. IT man to the rescue. Yeah, I should have turned slow mode on at the beginning, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Maybe it has to, oh, yeah, it fixed it no. Ah, yeah. look at that. Okay. It's we're beautiful good. We're good. Sorry, sorry, technical difficulties. I'll blame the silly string. That's... Yeah, Everywhere. Yeah. Oh, hopefully it doesn't stain that tablecloth. Because that has to be used for a party tomorrow. And I, it's on my work shirt. That's wonderful, too. I mean, it came right off that. Oh, it didn't stain it? Yeah. Gosh, I think we is... can pull that off your work shirt. It doesn't okay. like fabric. <laughs> no more silly string during live streams. Yeah, we're not doing silly string No. The please great. does. Yeah, that was fun. But, but, uh, I don't. Oh! The marks disappeared. Ah, oh, perfect. Hooray! We can do silly string still! Yay! No, we're done All with right. silly string. Never mind. You can keep sending us silly string. Turns out, as long as it's a year expired and 
Uh, bright colors intensify under UV light. Oh, we should have got UV lights. Oh, we should have read oh, the whole can. Wait, I can do that. We Give have a UV second. light? Oh, nice. All right, cool. So speaking of UV lights, this reminded me. Ed and I recently were working late, and we just needed a break. So we walked around the zoo when everything was dark, and we noticed during the day. Like, half of the frogs, like the Amazonian polka dot frogs, those are out at night. The, um, our yellow spotted climbing toads are out. The monkey tailed sphinx are out. There's so much out at night. The crown tree frogs. So then we took black lights with us into the zoo, and there's so many of our animals that glow under a black light, including shed skins, we learned. So we are going to develop, with our new programmer Madison, a night hike through the zoo, or a nighttime tour. And that's going to start with, like, talking about why some reptiles are nocturnal, and then we'll hand out flashlights to everybody, and everybody can tour the zoo, and then we come back, and we'll talk about why some animals fluoresce, and we'll hand out black lights, and then everybody can check out the zoo with black lights. And also, our centipede in the invert cave only comes out at 10 p.m. at night, 10 to like midnight, so they'd be able to see him too. So that's going to be a program in the future that we'll have, we'll tell the whole channel in case you want to RSVP it and be a part of it if you're local. We'd so. have to go into the cave and, uh, to get the UV lights. So. Oh, it wouldn't work out? Okay. All right, no worries. So can goes there. Got this here. Read first. Okay, I will read this first. I got paper towels. Oh, oh. About you, but I got paper towels. Where is that from? Remember, we got paper towels from Australia, and they were like teeny tiny. Oh yeah, these paper? these are American paper towels. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it even has a guy in a plaid shirt. Jesus. I almost spilled. All right, yeah. So uh, look, we have paper towels. A little bit. Those, <laughs> oh hey, <laughs> if only we had paper towels to clean up the drink <laughs> on the on the table. Yeah, these these are these are paper towels. Oh man. Yeah, we need that Amer that Australian roll of paper towels to like put next to it. That's hilarious. I wonder if it's because of that video. All right, mine was. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's a. Wait. No, it's a spray bottle. Sweet. Korean paper towels are also tiny. There you go. Korean paper towels are tiny. Okay, like how tiny are we talking? Yeah. Like, are they? Because the Australian one, I think it was Australian. I, I think it was Indonesian or something like that. Was it? Maybe, Maybe. not. They were like only that tall. So. Korean paper towels. Oh yeah, now I want to know. Yeah, let's let's discuss the real thing, chat. chat. How big are paper towels outside of the U.S.? Yes, please let us know. Like, should we measure this to find out? I don't, I don't know. I mean, this I looks mean, like it's like, 12 inches. That's about 12 inches, yeah. Yeah, that's it's 12, a foot. A foot wide, and uh, I guess it depends on how long it is. So. Size doesn't matter. Size matters. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep moving on. <laughs> Singapore toilet paper is half the size of American ones. Half oh. the size? Like Korean paper towels are smaller than U.S. paper towels. Like okay. that half the size, or like length and width overall surface area is half. Now I want to see Singapore paper towels. I like how paper we're... towels are the same in Holland. This is important stuff, Emily. I know we're a reptile channel, but we have priorities. Paper towels. <laughs> paper towels. Oh my gosh. When I was in Europe, they were also... also okay. It's weird. Interesting. All right, we can move yeah. on. This shirt would actually look pretty sweet with a bunch of pink stains on it. They're evenly spaced polka dots. Yeah. So we're going to wash this, and this might look like tie dye after it comes out. Do I still have some on my face, by the way? No, I got it off the oh, face. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, I'm going to read my letter. This is, or unless you want to do yours. No, go for it. It's Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah. sorry. I keep getting distracted. Dear Ed and Emily, I've uh, been watching Snake Discovery for about two years now and have been loving watching all the snake babies in your facility coming together. In a video, you both mentioned how cool it would be if you would be known for isopods, and I got you both something to hang at the facility if you all like. I think you're all awesome. We have an excess, excess of armadillidian species here in North Carolina. Whoa. And, okay, so now there's instructions. Now we open the package. Oh my oh, goodness. Isopod discovery. Isopod discovery. That is cool. And now it says to read this. I am big into 3D printing and thought this <gasps> may be cool. That is 3D printing. That is 3D printing. I got, I tell you guys this, I got a 3D printer for Christmas and that's. It's actually not bad 3D all... printing. He's got some stringing, but that's fine. Yeah, now he is a 3D printing connoisseur apparently. The first layer is. Uh... That looks good. It's all right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That looks amazing! That looks amazing, <laughs> Ty. Okay, I'm big into 3D printing and I thought this may be cool. I've also included my Maker Coin. 
If you give me permission. He's got a maker coin? What's a maker coin? It's a thing I was going to make and possibly hand out at Tinley. It's his oh. maker coin. Oh, cool. Cool. so we can like hand those out? Yeah. Like and with one, the S? One of our own, yeah. That'd be so cool. Hopefully he's all right with me showing this. If you give me permission, I can put the file online for others to download and print for oh. free. Uh, yeah. Would that be for the isopod discovery I'm sign? I'm guessing for the maker coin. Oh yeah, I don't know. If people would be able to find the file by looking up uh, Hojo Kono, which is spelled H-O-J-O-K-O-N-O. -O -O. Live, I'm sorry. Well, someone can reach out to Ty. And, and uh, yeah. Look up that on Thingiverse. So we could... Anybody with uh, a 3D printer knows what Thingiverse is. So we could, like, make a bunch of these coins with the Snake Discovery logo on it and yeah. hand them out at Tinley. Yeah. Oh, cool. We could do that, that in addition plan. to the the other thing yeah. we yeah. have planned for Tinley. Okay, so uh, I won't give you all the details, but we are planning a themed pin reward that coincides with a certain outfit you have to wear to every Tinley, and you can get the limited edition pin, just like we did with the unicorn onesies, or the unicorn onesie pin, if you showed up to Tinley in a onesie. We're going to continue that tradition, just with different ideas. And we already have Marsh's theme picked out, we're waiting for the pins to come mm. in, and then we'll announce it on a video, so... Yeah, in addition, we could print some of these yeah. of, like, Snake Discovery. This and is really cool. Thank you, Ty. I'm sorry. I anyone still wondering about the Lasiac stuff, Rewatch the video. We spent, like, 20 minutes on it in the first half of this, so. Yep. Uh, important stuff. Go back and watch it, or find somebody else who's done a bunch of stuff about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know who this is from, but. Oh, that's cute. They sent us a photo. Aww. They sent you some Dove chocolate. Oh, my goodness. From Tessa. They sent Cheyenne some nuts. Oh, she's going to love yeah, those. She Aww. And we got some sticky. Uh, oh, this is from last year's Valentine's Day. safe. Oh, we use that. We yeah, use that every day. It's got like soap on it. Oh, weird. I mean, oh, Ooh. is that is that what expired Repto Safe looks like? I don't know. I Maybe. think it's something from the outside that got it. You know, if this is only a year expired, you think it's still good? Oh yeah, chocolate I, never goes bad. It's sealed. Yeah, and it's Valentine's Day on Monday, so I'm gonna say it's perfect timing to have it. And this is going to go right there, because that is awesome. Okay, we need to try a dip chocolate for Valentine's Day. You, you could have just, like, hid this to the side and used it for a Valentine's Day gift this year. I mean, this whole box is from me. It's for you? From oh, me. Oh, from you. Okay. From me to the channel. So oh, yeah, those, that is from me. Those look totally fine. All right, cool. I'm kidding, whoever sent this. They also sent this. Yeah, Tessa. Bottle. Thank you for this. <laughs> People are going to know how desperately we need squirt bottles yeah. here, because we get so excited. They break. They do. They break all Haley, the time. Haley, Kim, and Brayden keep breaking the spray bottles here. It's mainly just Kim. It's mostly just Kim, yeah. And now they're all, we have to replace them. Anyway, thanks for spending, sending spray bottles. Oh my goodness, which one are we going to try? I'm going to try this one in the middle. Aw. Love the small things, mm. Yeah, they're still fine. That looked a little old <laughs> inside. It tastes fine. Mm, thank you, Tessa, for the Valentine's Day gift. You're even oh, a few days early. Oh, even better. Oh, it's a caramel one? Mm -hmm. Nice. Aw. Oh, okay. I'm going to put this over here. The rest are mine. These are delicious. Thank you, Tessa. That's a good point. Emily, do you have your Heelys? Emily hasn't worn her Heelys once since the store's been open. I did once. Uh-uh. So, yeah, I did. I wore them one day. I swear to God, I did. I wore them one day. So, I wore them, and then I felt like in like self-conscious wearing them because i didn't want to be one of those people who's like look at me i have heelys aren't i cool and i was like oh i feel embarrassed wearing them so i just have to get back in them and start wearing them because they are sitting in the office and when i wear them it's so much faster to glide on the wheels than to walk places so i'm just constantly gliding but then by doing that i feel like i'm trying to bring attention to myself which i'm not it's just more efficient to glide on the wheels so i'll try them again you okay. need to stop thinking, is what you need That's to do. That's just the mental battle I go through. Yeah, because I don't want the attention on myself. But I do love Heelys. So, Ed's leaving, I think, to check Rex's pool, is my guess. My mouth is, like, super salivating from that chocolate for some reason, so this is awkward. We've got <gasps> Curly Whirlies. This is one of my things that has been introduced into my life, thanks to you amazing viewers. I didn't know these existed, but... I really like them. They're so it's such a weird pattern. They're delicious. So thank you very much. Thank you, Alice. And we've got I wanna find the letter in here too. Oh, there's feather test. Oh, oh, 
Feather test, okay. This is from UK, so I think it's okay to open. It's not US. Yeah. Let's see, we've got a letter in here too. Maybe I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna watch. Open this. How's Rex? Griffin Soul. Griffin Soul, you've been telling me every time I've been looking, they've been right. <gasps> Rex, we wanna go to the top of the grade, so I'm just gonna watch for Griffin. Okay. Good job, Griffin. You just got promoted to. Yeah, you are scout. now my scout for the channel. Thank you. You can't leave now until you, Rex is cool. You are doing He's an amazing good. job. Now we're relying on you. <laughs> All right, Griffin. So this is that's right, Ellis. Ooh, dark coffee alternative to chocolate. Alternative to dark chocolate. What? What's it made out of? If it's an alternative. Oh my goodness! There's adorable art in here. Is there a letter that I can read? Is there a letter? Is there a letter? Oh my goodness, is there not? Maybe in here? Okay, I think Alice here is an artist that sent me some samples of her work. Oh, of some cute snakes. And they're, oh, and they're information too. Okay, so we've got some dragons and a cute ball python. I'm not sure which pride flag that is actually. So if that does, those colors do represent something, let me know in the comments so I can, so I can learn actually. I'm not sure about the, that color pattern. And, oh my gosh, I'm gonna really like, this, uh, the stickers in here. This reminds me of Terra Tiger Studio type art, actually. There is, oh my god, a pride snail. This can go on our snail enclosure. There is a pride albino ball python. I love it. There is a trans pride albino ball python. And another pride albino. And a crimson belly conure. Holding you, know, you also don't see crimson belly conures getting represented much. Oh, huh? wait. What? Oh, okay, we're back. We're back? Okay, yeah. didn't, didn't freeze? Nope. Okay, well, good, because I want to show Aww, their... So many people say they love me. People love you? You guys are all amazing. Yeah, uh, they're just saying that to make you feel good. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, here is Ellis's information for all of their amazing art. Check that out. Definitely go check out the fourth doodle, because that artwork style is adorable. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that is really cute. Thank you so much, Ellis. I'm definitely gonna find good homes. These are good quality stickers. Definitely gonna find good homes for these throughout the facility. So put them back in the bag too. I love it. There's so many talented people out there. So, okay, so Jade sent us an amazing package uh, with some chocolate. Ooh, ah, thank and, you. And a little Cheyenne toy. Oh, cute. But there's a bunch of bugs in it. And it's from this Naturals wood parrot roll thing. Cheyenne's had those before. There's like a ton of little- It's uh, the little weaver, or um, Weevils? Weevils. Weevils? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be cute. Well, we could freeze it and yeah, that would we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just freeze it and it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just pop yeah. it in the freezer. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Thank you, Jade. I mean, that, I've seen that one before, like on bird food occasionally just show up here and there. But that's typically why you freeze the food before you offer it. So we'll just freeze it and yeah. it should be fine. It's also, it's natural for a reason. I'm guessing yeah. they didn't break it. That's so. true. It's like finding springtails. I'm, I'm going to put it in the freezer the... now. So yeah, we can freeze it right over there. Perfect. So when people book this party room tomorrow and come up, come here for the party, they'll see a, a random bird toy in the freezer. Yeah. That's all right. Thank you for the goodies. Cheyenne's gonna love them. Oh, that's right. I want to figure this out. Um, dark coffee or alternative? It's a vegan chocolate made in Ch Scotland. Do you want to try it? Sure. How's Chloe doing? Chloe's good. Chloe might be moving. <laughs> yeah, Chloe will be. I think in our Valentine's Day special. Actually, not. She will be in our yeah. Valentine's Day special, so you'll get to see how she's doing. And she's getting closer to being upgraded to Rex's old pool. Do you want spoon? No, I want fork. I would love spoon. <laughs> you want to try this vegan chocolate? Vegan chocolate? Yeah, Not vegan. Not really. Dark chocolate. <laughs> dark chocolate. Oh, it smells weird. It does smell funny. Oh, tastes good though. Hmm, it reminds me of something. It reminds I me mean... of a certain toy I had as a kid. Which I apparently put must have put in my mouth. Play-Doh? <gasps> I mean, oh, if you I'm were, sorry. If you were missing chocolate and you couldn't eat chocolate, that would be an alright substitute. I will give that credit. It does taste like Play-Doh. It does kind of taste like Play-Doh though. That is exactly what I was thinking. So I must have eaten Play-Doh in my childhood. Because that's what it reminded me what of. What was the name of the person I gave permission to? Tell me. Griffin. Griffin. Griffin, uh, how's it doing? <laughs> Let Ed know. You need the status update. This is a package from... Okay, is this one empty? I don't want to miss anything. Okay, yep, that one's empty. 
this is a package from Cover Your Cover. Thanks, guys. <laughs> still good? Yep, yeah. still good. There's two people. Oh, There's nice. Griffin and Alice. Not done yet. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Ah, sweet. Thanks, Alice and Griffin. Great. Okay, this is from, I think, a mask company. Ooh. This one is Hi Snake Discovery. We at Cover Your Cover love your channel so much we decided to send you a goodie package of some of our awesome mask covers. We believe everyone should be as safe as they can during these times and do their best to protect each other. If your amazing viewers would like any of them, they're all available at our website, coveryourcover.com, and code SNAKE will take 25% off any order forever. Wow! Cases, masks, other stylish accessories that will keep people safe. Much love, the CYC team. Oh, so this isn't a mask company. It's a cover for a mask company. It's like a mask container. Yeah, company. it is. Cool. So you don't like stuff your mask in yeah. your pocket. Like, so you don't throw it on the ground and then put it back on your mouth. Yeah. I have not done that almost every day of my life since wearing uh, a mask. I'll occasionally put my mask on and I'm like, why does it smell bad? <laughs> and it's the only mask I have. So I have to keep going. Remember for it. a while, one of our masks smelled like shrimp? <laughs> Why in the world did it smell like shrimp? We still don't know. But okay, yeah, so these are mask containers. Oh my gosh, there's so many different styles. Okay, oh, there's even like um, velvety ones. That's cute. And, and masks. Oh, this is adult metallic face mask. Okay, cool. So there's actually a mask. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to take this one out. Oh, that's a pretty one. Sequin face mask. What? This is awesome, and it's kids, so it should fit me. No, oh, it's a little bit. Oh. Does it change color? No. Oh, it does? Okay, so it's the same color. That is so cool. I would just play with this the whole time. Oh my goodness, there's so many in here. From Cover Your Cover. Okay. There's the ear savers. Kids dinosaur chain and adjuster. Oh, I see. <laughs> I didn't see the other side there. There's... Uh, it looks like, oh, a, a mask chain? Clear attachments work for glasses. Okay. Oh, is this like to keep your mask around your neck when you don't need it? I think it is. Or it might be to pull the weight off your ears. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that could be. Ear savers. Adult fangs. Haha, <laughs> fangs face mask. There's adult cheetah mask lanyard. Holy cow, they have everything with masks here. Kids for me. And we've got... Oh my gosh, that's a cool idea. Hey, look at this. this nice. This. My uh, Alice and Griffin have both given me a... Uh, You've been summoned? A summoning, so I'll see what this is. And then... Okay, so this is a mask cover. Oh, for kids. Yeah. Like that slap bracelet. It, that's also a slap bracelet. Nice. Yeah, here you go. Cha -cha. Look at how beautiful I am now. So you put your mask in there and you wear it around. That's it's genius. Amazing. It's like a pocket for your wrist. <laughs> There's some great ideas in here. I personally Can love anybody else these. watch that? No. Nope. Wait, what did you say? It's like a pocket for your wrist. Yeah, I don't know that reference. Okay. I wonder if anybody that's such an obscure reference. Yeah, I don't know. No, nope, probably not. Probably not. But I really like these mask covers. Okay, I'm gonna show you the uh, the code on here just on screen in case I said it anything wrong. But yeah, really cool idea. And yes, I would recommend them. They seem like high quality too. And again, they didn't reach out to me or anything. Okay, I'm just going to show you the whole letter. Uh, CoverYourCover.com, code SNAKE will take 25% off any order forever. There you go. That was really nice of them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Cover Your Cover, for the mask goodie bag. There's so many in here. This is so great. Okay. All right. I'll be back again. All right. Have fun turning off Rex's, Rex's pool. Is she in the water? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Very that's chilly. that's cold water. All right, well, she'll be fine. Okay, I kind of want to put all these masks back in here. That was really nice, you guys. Thank you. Hopefully, there's enough people watching this that can help support CoverYourCover.com and uh, make it worth their while to send us this awesome package. But that is a really good discount code too. Uh, we might actually have another business who sent us samples, so I'm just gonna show that one too while we're at it. Oh, there's a letter. Okay, I'm gonna read this. It looks like there's something else mask related in there too. Aww, and there's Art of Cheyenne. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, wow, you even did like a shadowing or like a, a glare on her beak. That's really cool. And by the way, Allie fell asleep over there in the corner. So she finally calms down, which is kind of nice. It is starting to get late for her too. 
All right, is there a letter? Oh, there is. I can pull it out with these masks as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, these are really cute too. This is a Pokemon mask and a burb mask. Nay, if you're watching this, you need this burb mask. And I'm going to wear this one starting ASAP tomorrow. That is adorable. Okay, so here's the letter. Dear Ed and Emily, I have a tiny Etsy shop. I'm just starting to grow. Due to the current pandemic, I'm making a lot of masks. Uh, as an immunocompromised person, I've actually been making them for years. Anyway, when I found my Pokemon fabric, I just knew I had to make yellow masks. I want you to both, um, I want you both healthy and fashionable. The bird fabric is from an Etsy shop too, Berber. I really hope you like them. P.S. If you don't mind, could you give my shop a shout out? Yeah, absolutely. I was planning on doing that anyway. Do we have a some information? Oh, there we go. You wrote it on the back. Perfect. Okay, coming around again. I can give you a closer up view of these too. So Pokemon mask from like fabric from the 90s, it looks like, 99. And super cute burb mask. Look at that. That's so cute. There's even a blue Indian ring neck. <laughs> All right, so this is from JWD, Just Whimsy Design. And we've got all our information there. Definitely check them out and get this cute bird mask. I love it. Thank you so much for sending this. You guys are all way too nice. I know I say that a lot, but look at this. Bird mask. Oh, nice. Isn't that cute? That's amazing. That's adorable. All right, Rex Spool is good. Fred. Thank you. Rex Spool is uh, done. Griffin and Alice. Thank you very much for helping. We only have a couple packages. Thank for someone who travels a lot. Ooh, a good starter snake for somebody traveling. Having a, lot. a bunch of friends who will be willing to take care of that snake for yeah. you, and a corn snake or a ball python. Yeah, honestly, either one, corn snake or ball python. Once it's an adult, you can feed them every other week. So you could go on a trip, assuming you have someone just to check in periodically to check water and heat elements. But yeah, corn snake or ball python. That's why snakes are like the awesome traveling pet because you can travel and leave them behind for a week or two. They don't need to eat every day. Samara sent Cheyenne a dollar coin. Oh, this is for Cheyenne. All right, and cool. Also says we have to try either the killer pythons oh, or the snakes alive. Which uh, one would you rather eat? Let's ask the chat. Okay, killer. chat. Killer pythons or snakes alive? Which one should we get? I'm gonna hold this up here for a few seconds. Or eat. Yeah, which one should we eat? Oh, neither of them are expired either. Snakes Sweet. alive. There's one for that. Hey, take your guesses. Uh, Which one pythons, 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 snakes alive, snakes alive, pythons, oh, no, snakes alive. Oh, no, it's like 50 Holy crap. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to flip the coin then that she sent if it's 50-50. I think it's more pythons. More honestly. pythons? Yeah, I'm going to go with pythons All right, here. we're going for killer pythons. I love how they make the snake look like such, such a bad guy. That's okay. We all know that snakes are yeah. the good guys. Oh, yeah, it's Ooh. definitely more pythons. How big are these? It's from Australia, by the way. Wow, that's huge. That is, do you want to share one? Sure. Okay. Should we, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird to do on a live stream, the lady in the tramp. <laughs> oh, still a little cold. Mmm, that's so good. That is really good, though. All right. Killer pythons. Pretty good. Yeah. Nice. How can you tell if a snake is venomous or not? It was venomous. That's the best way to do it. Learn the species in your area. <laughs> That's how you know if the or that. snake is venomous or not. My favorite picture that makes its rounds on social media is the one that says how to tell if a snake is poisonous or not. And it has a snake with the elliptical pupils and the like triangular shaped head. And it has a snake with the round pupils and like the round head. And they say this is all you have to know to tell them apart. Venomous and non-venomous. But then there's both constrictors who have kind of a triangular shaped head and elliptical pupils so it's just it's just not accurate at all my favorite's the one where it shows the vent oh yeah and it's like if they're split scales or if they're this you know one or the other and it's like so all you have to do is go check its butt and then yeah. you, you know it's venomous or exactly not. that's all you have to do mm -hmm. oh my goodness yeah there's a lot in this box yeah there is i ran out of packages so i'm gonna run know. and grab another all right. one hi emily i've been watching your videos for two years Ba, ba, ba. We're really funny. Aww. Aww. I sent Emily her favorite chocolates. I also sent Ed some chocolates as well. I made this picture for you. It was supposed to be a hognose snake. Uh, so I made Aww. a bull snake instead. Aww. I love it. Oh, wrapped around the eggs. 
Cute. This is from Josie. Yeah. Question about Nearly Headless Nick. Is he still alive? He is, unfortunately, not. He did pass away a couple of years ago now. Yeah, we had him for about, was it two years, two and a half years? Yeah. After his eye surgery? Well, that was pretty impressive for a garter snake to live that well after such a major, like, traumatic experience, really. So, yeah, he, he did pretty well. Oh, my gosh! We got fish food! We got fish food! There you go, Omega-1 fish food. Oh, that brings back memories. Oh, my gosh, Open yeah. that up and smell it. Oh, is this, like, the smell from... Oh, that's, like, their old logo. Whoa. That brought me back to when I was, like, 10. Got with it. a little gallon and a half hex. Oh, the other day. Right. I was like, there's no A on oh, the end of it. Oh, it was on a commercial. I don't know. Yeah, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. I They're... have a hat. Oh, this doesn't expire until 23. Oh, what a beautiful hat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we actually have fish in that salivarium now, so yeah. perfect. Thank Here's you. your favorite chocolates. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. The best chocolates in the world. Would you. Emily get that? So what's going on with Bruno? We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, she did get it. Of course! <laughs> there you go. I mean, Surface Pressure is the best song from that whole movie. But Oh, wow! Which one's Surface Pressure? It's for the really strong girls talking ah, about how much right. pressure she's under. Thank you! Jenny's gonna love this. I'm so sorry that she isn't here to try this, but what she would do is she would grab it and hold the whole stick in one hand and just start tearing apart the other end of it, eating maybe a quarter of it. But she loves it, and it keeps her entertained for a while. So that's pretty awesome. So thank you very much. I love trying to like fill her foraging toys and give her extra snacks before we leave for the day, since we can't bring her with during these cold days. So I will give her one of these tomorrow to keep her occupied while we're gone. Oh, there's oats in there, too. Nice. Thank you so much. She will love that. <laughs> Agreed. Surface Pressure is the best song. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, everyone's saying that we don't talk about Bruno is the best one, but it's Surface Pressure. OK, anyway. Um, uh, Emily, have Ed open it so you don't cut what's inside. From Jameson in Utah. It's actually already, we, you must have already cracked Throw it. Throw it up. Uh, yeah, no, we're not doing that with this. <laughs> Jameson sends something handmade. Ooh. Oh, these are our favorite colors. I think there's something in here for me and something in here for you. Okay, we've got two. Would this be crocheted or knitted? I think crocheted. Crocheted. Are these scarves? Oh my gosh, they're scarves. Oh, wow. We can wear these. How cold it is. What is Allie up to? She's sleeping over there in the corner. Oh, she's, she's yeah. just sleeping she's in the out. corner over yeah, there. Yeah, Allie's just out. It's past 10. She's supposed to be asleep. Dear Ed and Emily, here are a couple of scarves that I knit knitted knitted for you with the pattern of crocodile slash mermaid stitch. They took about a month each to finish. I think that you'll appreciate them during the winters there. A month? Oh my gosh, Jameson. I don't like anything enough to do for a month. That's, a, that's dedication. Yeah, it is. I really like watching your videos and learning from them about the reptiles that you have. You guys have the best channel ever, and I hope that you will continue being the best teachers out there about reptiles. Thank you, Jameson! I, I, these are my favorite colors. I don't know how you found out what our favorite colors were, orange and then green and blue. But this is, this is really nice. And this is so kind of you and thoughtful to make this for us up during our winters. And it, we opened it while it's still winter. What are the odds? So we can actually still wear these, which I absolutely will. They're actually long enough to be able to. You can do like, well, I, I usually wear them like this. You kind of do the, the tuck through, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the best way to wear them. Aww. I like to do it like this, so that I'd like, because <sighs> <Nice. sighs> then people know I'm putting on a scarf. They know you're important if yes, you do it that exactly. way. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yep. Oh, this is really, thank you, Jameson. I will treasure this. I love the pattern you used, too. It's like the scaly effect. That was really thoughtful. A month each. Wow, that was so cool. Okay, Whoa. that was really nice. Thank you. We okay. can Bowden rice candy is. Bowden rice candy? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Well, I guess we're trying it. Yeah, we're gonna it try has it. a little naked baby on the box. Isn't that naked? Oh, He's got naked. a kimono on. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's got to be good. It has oh. a baby. Okay. What is this? Oh. That one fell out. Little rice candies. Oh, they're like wrapped in little paper, too. Okay. I'm so confused. Yeah, we've got that. Oh, do gosh. you just eat it? Yeah, do is you this eat it eatable with the paper? paper? I think. I think yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's dissolving. 
What is it? Does it have ingredients in English? Corn syrup, sugar, water, and a couple other smaller ones. Huh. Is it chew or suck on? Is it supposed to be chewy? Anybody? It's, it's not chewy. Is this expired? Okay. Is that? Was our staff still here when you went out to Rex? No. Okay, good. There. I, heard, I thought I heard a cart moving. Oh. Okay. Um, don't know if this is expired or not, but it's going to take a long time for me to eat. So I'm going to set it aside. It's very for now. interesting. Oh. It's like. It's like gritty. Well, it's like it's but a, a flavor. Light, There's a flavor to it. It's a too. light flavor for sure. I Anyways, can't place my hand on it. But... This is from Jen. Okay. She has like a YouTube that. channel as well now. Cool. For all of her paranormal experiences. I've never had a paranormal experience. I haven't either. I wish I had a paranormal really? experience. Really? Yeah. I don't know how I would react to a paranormal experience. I mean, I'd freak out and poop my pants, but. You have other pants. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Those are like your only pants. You destroyed the rest of them during sand painting days. Yes. These are some of my old sand painting paints, too. I don't know how they didn't get stained. But anyway. <laughs> oh, it came with a leaf. Cool. Okay, I think. Is it just these packages? Yeah, left? you can have this one. Oh, I have. The, one oh, these. I have a couple under here. Sorry. We should display this. Inside is an ATC, also <laughs> known as Artist Trading Card. I know you guys collect Pokemon cards. Well, I make and. That is really cool. Like a handmade card. What's an ACT? Is it Artist? Artist Trading Card. Trading Card. Okay. So AT. AT. ATC. Okay, yeah. I was saying ACT. Okay, I like the test. Artist card trading. Wow. That's really cool. So we Jen, have like a collectible artist trading card. Jen also sent us a ton of little plant oh, things. Nice. And whatever's in this thing. Oh. Which is like a cave that you hold on, that you hang on the wall. Y yes, that's what it is. But I'm sure it's meant to be a cave. I think it's a planter. It's supposed to... Oh, she sent it as a cave. Probably sent it as yeah, a cave. Yeah, I think it's a planter, but it will work beautifully as a cave. If that's okay, if you don't mind us using it. Wait, this. there's chocolate in here too? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, spicy chocolate. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not trying that. You can try it. That's all of you. It's spicy. Spicy Zed's domain, not mine. I'm from Minnesota. Ketchup, ketchup is spicy where I'm from. So I'm going to just open this guy instead. This is from uh, Canyon Hawks. Rex has escaped. No, she hasn't. Is Rex just moving around? Maybe? I have her stream up over here. I feel like if Rex actually did escape, oh. we would have yeah, Rex tons is... of people like, Rex has escaped! Rex has escaped! <laughs> Rex got out of her water. <laughs> That's it. That's okay. Which I don't blame her for. That water's cold. Take a bite. No. Take a bite. No. Take it. It's eat it. spicy. Take a teeny little bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't taste spicy yet. It just tastes chocolate. Oh, they're spicy. Oh, no. Oh, it hits you. Oh, my gosh. Like, like I'm not like I'm not trying to act that up. It's not spicy. Oh, and adult punch does not chase it very well. <laughs> you are. I actually don't want mine to get the silly string on it. Mm. So I'm just going to I've been like trying to be careful on how I move. Oh, my gosh. Do you it's know like, Encanto? Is that the movie? Yes, yeah, the movie. Yeah, name. we watched Encanto. Oh yeah, we were just talking about that earlier. So, party last weekend. There oh, was yeah. that girl who the she was she was great. Uh, she had she received for her birthday we did presents in here whatever, a whole batch full of like spicy jelly belly jelly beans, and she made me eat one. Yeah, she made Emily eat a jalapeno one, and Emily was dying. Oh my gosh, it was and then so they bad. All went, Ed needs to come in here and try these. He likes spicy things. So they freaked out and went and found me in the in the, the zoo. Yep. And then they gave me the hottest one, which I think was the ghost pepper one. Yeah. And it wasn't spicy. Of course. Of course it wasn't for you. You're just saying that to try to act cool. It was spicy. No, it really set wasn't. you right here. Okay. Go to bed. All right. I mean, Go to does bed. That, that mean we have to end this? End the... All right. Good night. All right. All right. There is... Oh, wow. There's coffee stuffed in here. Oh, this this is awesome. Okay, this is a package from uh, Canada. Oh, Canada, eh? Nice. By the way, we get hate emails whenever we say a. Do we really? Because we're not from Canada. I I'm can sorry. be from Canada, eh? <laughs> yeah. 
Why would they do that, eh? Yeah, <laughs> eh. Not helping a, us. A, 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 a. Helping our situation, eh? Hey, right. well, Horton's coffee from Canada. Wow, sweet. I can. Also, I love Canada. Canada is an amazing country. Oh my gosh, I have family in Canada. Everybody up in Canada yeah. has been the sweetest people we've ever met. It was so, so much fun having Adam Wickens and Diane with. Reptilia. I mean, except for Adam, he's kind of a. Uh. Yeah, he was too short to be one of our friends. Too short, too bald. <laughs> I'm kidding. We and love you, Adam. We he love wasn't you. funny at all. I don't <laughs> no, know, like. Not at all. <laughs> we love it. Okay, we're not serious at all. I really hope. That, okay, it's not. Like, okay, playing. so all right, what name is there a name on this at all? We don't think there is. Okay, so yeah, this is from Canada. I'll find it. Oh, here's a note. Perfect. Aw. Hi, Emily. I'm a big family. My name is Canyon. Or Cameron? Canyon? Canyon. 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 Uh, I have a crested gecko named Delilah. I live in BC and I, British Columbia, and I am in grade one. Grade two now. Okay. As a Canadian from uh, Natel Chat. Natel Chat? As a Canadian, I approve this message, eh? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you! You get it. Nice. <laughs> Keep making your videos. Oh, she drew Delilah! Oh, she included a gift, too. Well, thank you, Canyon. You didn't have to do that. Uh, also, uh, Parnero Princess, as I was born in Canada in 83 and has made us honorary Canadians. So, <gasps> so we can you, say eh. You can just do that? I think so. You can yeah. just name someone as a Canadian. You can name them a, an American, an let honorary. Me, let me make sure that's what she they said no but... no no! don't double check we'll go with that we are honorary canadians okay. i was born in canada in 1983 and have decided that i'm going to make you honorary canadians so you can tell those people sorry but stuff it eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh well i love it i love it too we are now honorary canadians sweet all right we'll add that to our title there we go yep that's nice. gonna be on my resume eh? <laughs> so anyway Canyon drew Delilah, her crested gecko, which is really cute. I love it. And I saw a comment go through asking if either of us have any tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? All over underneath my shirt. It's just a, like... It's like a sleeve. A sleeve, All the way down. A, a sleeveless sleeve. If any, anywhere you can't see skin, it's tattoo. Everywhere. No, we don't have tattoos. No, we don't have any tattoos. <laughs> no, because um, I'm a big baby. I would like to, maybe in like memory of Cheyenne when that day comes, get Cheyenne's footprints tattooed on my shoulder because she likes to hang out with me on my shoulder when we're sitting on the couch watching movies or whatever. Uh, but we do not have tattoos right now. Yeah. You thought about getting uh, a bite, a snake bite tooth that would pattern be cool. on your on yeah. your forever. I never see. I never hang out with things long enough. I'm too. Uh, spastic, I guess? I don't know. What, that's not the word. Uh, oh, that's sporadic? Sporadic, that's the word. Uh, so I, like, get into something really hardcore, and then I'm like, eh. and I get into something really hardcore. So I feel like if I put ink on me, I'd be like, that was cool a year ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you move on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Canyon also sends, oh my gosh, wow, dark chocolate, a whole dark chocolate bar. A lint dark chocolate bar at that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they even made them this big. That's amazing. And <laughs> it's called ADHD. It's called ADHD. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. And there's some decorations in here. Can use that for our animals. And there's. Is this. That it's... sounds broken. Oh, it's. It sounds like metal, but it's baked, crunchy. I'll eat a banana chip. Do you want a metal bana banana yeah, chip? Yeah, sure. Doesn't that sound like plastic or metal? It Not does. like banana chips? I think we have to find out what's in here. I, I don't think it's banana chips. And there's aquarium plants. Cool. Thank you, Canyon. Let's see what metal banana chips you sent us. Oh, weird. Well, why do they sound like that? What are these made out of? Is it uh, ingredients bananas? Okay, well. That's what I'm looking well, at. Well, I mean, if you dehydrate a banana at home, they like that. Yeah. Oh, that, that crispy? Oh, that that's good. Crunchy banana. There's a lot of flavor in that. Mm hmm Oh. These might, I think these would be really good for Cheyenne, because her beak could snap these up. Mm hmm And I think these were intended for Cheyenne. So I'm sorry, Canyon, for eating the first one. But... I had to know it was inside because of that sound. What okay. was the machetes again? 
two people have been asking. So machete names? Yeah, one was Gaston the something. One was Pete the package perforator. I think Pete the package perforator and Gaston the package destroyer. Something like that. Yeah, something yeah. from Beauty and the Beast. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Pete the package. Yeah, perforator. Was it perforator? Something like that. I feel like it was a more intense word, like to destroy. That started. With Somebody a will remember it. Two thesaurus. Yeah. All right, I anyway, have one more package. I have two, so I'm gonna finish this one. Okay. Uh, Julia sent, who has two dogs, a chihuahua. I love oh, chihuahuas. Yeah. And a lab. As long as the chihuahuas, chihuahuas are nice. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I don't love them no matter what. Yeah, I love so, all chihuahuas. Uh, she sent us a bunch of scarf material that she does. Oh, cool! Yeah, like, snake scarves. Yeah. Aww. Oh my gosh! Or not snake scarves, snake sweaters. Would this be snake sweaters? Oh my gosh! There's so many of them, but they're sealed on each end. This one's a so hat. what? I think it's it's like what she like makes. Huh. It's okay. like a baby Like a sample. Hat. Yeah, like a sample. Oh, it's like you just came out of the hospital. And yeah. They, they gave you that free. Hat. My head gets too cold because I have no hair. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like, I mean, I, I love all the different samples. Um, I sent you some samples of scarves that I make. Oh, so this is miniature versions mm -hmm. of the scarves she makes. Okay. Oh, I really like that light colored. Different colors. She does have nice handwriting. Wow. Thank you, Julia. Thank you so much, Julia. These are really cute. I love miniatures, so I love sample sizes of things. Like when you go to Gander Mountain and they have, like, a really mini replica tent or, like, a fishing like a, an ice house, and you, like you can't fit in it. Well, it's like that big, but it gives you an idea of what it looks like. So I love those. I don't go ice fishing, but I've always loved those. <laughs> Can I here? buy the floor model? I, I don't care that it's I the same do. price yes. as the big one that you take out on the, the lake. It's so cute. But yeah. I want one. I bet there's people watching who have never been ice fishing. Oh, I'm guaranteed so, there is. So in Minnesota, if you don't know, don't know what ice fishing is. You walk out onto the ice in the middle of winter, and you drill a hole through the ice, and you just fish through the hole. And that's that's ice fishing. So people actually leave out year-round, not year-round, um, winter-long houses that you just set on top of the ice. There's like a communal agreement that you don't use at other people's houses because they stay out there all winter on the same lake that everybody shares. And there's even a bar in Minnesota that's on the lake with ice holes, so you can like drink at this igloo bar. You can drink. And fish. And ice fish. Which is really what you do when you're ice fishing anyway. Yeah. You drink. This is just someone monetizing. And fish. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Aw, I love this. Dear Emily Knight, I love your videos. You guys are so much fun to watch and I could watch you all day. I always wanted to meet you guys and for Christmas of 2020, I got you, got your calendar. Oh, that's right. We had a calendar oh, in 2020. Yeah. We forgot to do it for this year. We are going to make a 2023 calendar. Yes. Because we already we have it in the works, so it will be next year. I'm sorry that it wasn't this year. If you could have any candy, and not chocolate, oh, what would it be? That's such a tough decision. Any candy, delicious. This is from Abby. Yes, you do. And they sent you chocolate. <gasps> a lot of chocolate. Oh my gosh! I didn't have to decide for a candy yeah. other than chocolate because they sent chocolate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abby. Oh, this. Is this is oh, a dark assortment. Oh, so there's different ones in here. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna save them. Gonna save them. Gonna, gonna save them. Yeah, oh, yeah, I have one more package here. This is the last package. I will interrupt with uh, things. Okay. I was thinking after this, we could take you all on a journey. Gas on the package demolisher. Gas on the package demolisher. There we Thank go. You, That's Amber a Queen. powerful name. Yep. yep. That's rival to Patricia the Box Slayer. Uh, I was thinking we could take a quick adventure into the Invert Cave with you guys after this package to show you that our centipede comes out at night. Because even if you've been here, you haven't seen a centipede because he's not out. There's somebody who just said, yeah, it was like, bacon cakes. Ed, what if you shaved your beard? <laughs> <laughs> what if you shaved your what beard? What if I shaved my beard? <laughs> it's cold outside. I can have face form. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs the facial like insulation in the winter. So I'm sure when it gets warmer, you'll shave it. If Emily didn't have to be on camera, she'd have a beard, so... That's true. I have to shave mine every day. Otherwise, you can start seeing that 5 o'clock show. <laughs> it was Pete the Package Perforator. Perforator! That was it. Pete the Package Perforator. Nice. Thank you. Okay. This one does... Okay. Interesting. Our last box for the evening doesn't have a note, 
it just says thank you for shopping with us. Hmm. Um, and that's it. Okay. Well, what what was sent? It's Cautina chocolate cream. Can you eat it? Is it a lotion? Like, or is it edible? It's There's all only in. Only one way to find out. That's true. Let's eat it. Let's see if it's edible. Oh. But it also looks like lotion. Are you gonna try to eat it? Is it edible? Oh, it's like Nutella. Oh, sweet. Okay, nice. Well, that's better than what I was gonna do, which was start rubbing some on my arm. So I'm glad we went with the tasting first instead of using it as lotion. Hmm. I assume that's what it is, though. It it's tastes good. like it. Yeah, we're gonna eat it. I don't. This is don't... how you guys get sick. <laughs> I can't read anything on the uh, on the glass drawer, but I think we're gonna eat it because it tastes good. So it's got to be edible and meant for consumption, right? If only there was a letter in here telling us what to do with it. But we're gonna go with its food because that is actually really good. <laughs> okay, where did I put the lid? It's right here. Mm. Okay, perfect. Well, on and that. shave your head. That is one thing I will never do. Shave his head? No, I will not I won't shave let my him. head. My head is probably lumpy and gross looking. <laughs> so my hair saved everyone from having to deal with that. <laughs> Do you want nightmares? Because yeah. him shaved with a, or him with a head a shaved head is yeah. how you get nightmares. So no, you'd be able to pull that off no. just fine. I don't want you to shave your head. There's already quit. one bald guy in the reptile hobby that has a YouTube channel. I'll leave it all to him. Okay, perfect. That's all that's all his territory. I can't go long hair, because Dave's got that one. So True. I have to be in the middle. I'm short hair. I guess Clint has shorter hair. Or Adam has no hair. Clint has short hair. Yeah, but you can you, you, can, you can only have one extreme. Everybody else oh. is in that 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 Okay. You know, the point. I see. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. So on that note, oh my gosh. Do you see all of this? This is amazing. What is this? And where yeah. was I for that? Yeah, that was in this package. This was from Canyon. Yeah, it's a ginormous lynx bar. Okay. We're trying one more, guys. Bear with us. Guess Ed's got to get a rat tail. I can oh. do that. If you get a rat tail, I'm snipping it off while you sleep. Man bun. That too. No, nope. can't do that either. No, that's, no, you would not. Nope. I'm just not going to say anything else. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or I wish I could do a braided beard. I wish my beard grew well enough to at least put a braid in it. It doesn't. This <laughs> it's is getting better. This is like two months. Wait, when did we go to Costa Rica? I think that was the last time I shaved. December. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like two months. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That is the biggest lynx bar I have ever seen. And it's just solid dark chocolate. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep, I can get on board with that. That's going in my pile. Yep. Uh, I'll have my three meals taken care of with that, I think, alone. Calorie-wise, it counts as three meals. Yeah. Mm, it's well rounded. It's a dairy. And it's a bean. So that's like a vegetable, right? Cocoa bean? Yeah. We'll go with that. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for your incredible generosity. We definitely do not deserve all of this. Like, Are we, we going have... to uh, cave? Yep, we're going to go to the cave. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Uh, uh, we could... I don't think yours has to be plugged in. <laughs> also, Thanks for the vegetables. <laughs> I won it. Ed won Silly String War of 2022. So until next year, you are the current victor. Yeah. But no, seriously, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to loop back around here to kind of wrap things up. But let's go. Let's go check out the inverts. Let's go through the breeding room so we can show them how that looks. Oh, okay. We'll go there and then we'll oh, invert. Oh, we get to be shaky cam Ed. Oh, yes, you do. Okay. Here. Oh, we do. We have enough machetes to juggle now. <gasps> do you know how to juggle? Not well enough to do machetes. I mean, you learn quick if you let's, to practice. With let's bring machetes. Sean up here. Sean oh. knows how to juggle. Okay, perfect. That'll work. Okay, and then breeding area. Look, it's so clean. Yep. And this was so nice. this was oh. like almost two months. No, two weeks of work back here, <laughs> yeah, really. getting it this Making clean. It look really nice, there's still a couple things out of order. But this, remember the... Uh... Oh, I think people just saw your password. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the door. Oh, that's all right. I have to change that anyway. Yeah, it has to be changed. Yeah, I was gonna change it, so we're good. 
So, hi. Hi. Hi, cutie. Good morning. Hello. So, pardon? Nothing. Okay. So, this was the blue tongue skink that we um, took in for our friend Chad, who, as you saw with the community post, unfortunately passed away recently. So, we are going to be permanently keeping um, Oprah Skink Free, as we have named her. And she is just part of our ambassador team. So, yeah, I wanted to show you how she was doing because a couple people were asking how his animals were doing. Yep. But we're not here to see a bunch of reptiles, even though we are a reptile channel, I suppose. Look at her go. Look at her go. She's going to go back to sleep. Let's see the centipede. Look. I had a blue tongue in my yard a couple days ago. Lucky. That's not fair. Uh, Australians, you're lucky with all your reptiles. Let's see. We've got... Oh, it's so dark in here. It is really dark. Okay, this one. Oh, that one needs to do battery. Uh, it's 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 been dropped a handful of times. No, that's probably. Wow, right. it's like black and white. It's so dark in here. Is it really? Yeah. Okay, ready? This is centipede's enclosure. You never see them unless it's nighttime. Centipede, where are you? Don't prove me wrong. Oh, you're gonna make a liar out of me. Are you under there? No. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, the well, one night we have a bunch of people here with us. Yeah, shoot. Okay. Well, centipede isn't out. Bummer. We'll have to try next time. Well, right. he usually comes out. That's, I guess, the point of the night hike. Should we do the scorpion instead then? Oh, yeah, let's do the scorpion. Okay. We know where he is. Yeah, he's right in there. So, scorpions fluoresce under black lights. So, the best way to find them is to shine them. Aww. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. Oh, ha, ha. cool. All right. Well, we are going to wrap things up then. I'm going to hang that back Emily's up. Emily's got to somehow figure out how to put that on the handle. Yeah, yeah it's dark. <laughs> cool. Back into the party room we go. Is there anything else we had to share with everybody or go over before we wrap up? No, just go support US Arc. Write yes. your senators. Yes, definitely. Redo all that if you need. Uh... Oh, jeez. Okay, sorry, guys. <laughs> you are all like, ah! Yeah. Stumbling around. <laughs> Uh, support you if you don't already because they are the ones who are fighting for us to be able to keep reptiles as pets in the United States. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching and wait, 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 wait. today. Oh jeez. Hmm. You're gonna trip. Oh, Allie. Ed's grabbing Allie. She's in the corner, still asleep. So uh, we're just gonna bring her with us for this conclusion as well. Come here. Aww. Hi, hi, pretty girl. She's like, why are you waking me up? It's like yeah, it's 11. Like super late, guys. <laughs> it's my bedtime. There we go. Now we can wrap things up. <laughs> all right. Yeah, thank you guys so much for Thank you for your generosity. Like, you don't have to send us all of this. But dude, we feel so loved. Yeah, you guys are all amazing. Thank you. I have a sweet little baby cat now. <laughs> yes, you do. Uh-huh. I tried not to wear too much because I didn't want this to transfer over to... It's all dry uh, now. <laughs> Wow, yeah. it's dry, but... Yeah, it came off the mural. It That's came off the mural. That's the important now thing. Now we have to spend... It's almost. It's like 11.30, 11.15. And spend... we have to spend about probably 45 minutes cleaning this room so you can do parties in the morning. Yeah, we do have parties tomorrow morning. And there's silly string everywhere. Hooray! Okay, well, Here on you go, that happy note... Girl. Yep. I'll jump back behind the camera. Sounds good. One last thing. Let's see, I'm going to pick a random person at random. Random. Repto life. Good night. Okay. Good night, Repto life. No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Have a great night or day if you're on the other side of the earth. And thank you so much for watching. I guess uh, we'll see you for Tuesday's Valentine's special. Yeah, jump over and watch Rex tonight. Hooray! Hooray! Twitch. Yes.